Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best <laughs> source for the newest Atari 2600 homebrew. Mm -hmm. And welcome to Atari. Mm -hmm. How you doing? During all the trouble and chaos, he just sat there and purred. It's very healing. It's very <laughs> yes. nice. Yes. He yeah. helped get the stream going yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. The camera wasn't coming on. But... At all. Yeah. It was completely black. So. so I had to reboot the computer, which, you know. Now without technical issues. I mean, we could have played with a completely black screen, I suppose. Uh... <laughs> uh, yeah. You could have but, heard uh, us. But you could have heard us play. That probably wouldn't have been too entertaining. Yeah. yeah. Not so much. I mean. Technical issues. Yeah. 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 Um, but luckily I'm able to fix technical issues. A reboot. Yeah. That's every technician's yeah. go-to. Have you turned it off and on? Yeah. Have you turned <laughs> it off and back on again? Yeah. Today we've got a whole bunch of fun games. We've got five games we're going to be playing. We're going to be playing Jumper, um, by Atarius Maximus. We're going to be playing Mega Man by, uh, David Galloway, DJ Mips, um, and Paranoid by Eshu, who was in the chat earlier under a totally different name. Um, but, you know, people don't have the same name across all the different places they visit. You know, people change their nicknames, too. And, like, they've signed up to Atari Age 15 years ago, and they're like, I don't like that name anymore, but I'm kind of stuck with it there. Uh, we got Cows by Wink Dot, and we're going to be playing Galagon as part of 2020 Harmony Games number four and try and get a high score there. Good luck to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or at least try and get a decent score. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. You can see down the left, left, right, on the right hand side of your screen beside Tanya. Yeah, on our left. Our left, <laughs> yeah. Which isn't even our left because it's not actually there. It's on the screen only. <laughs> no, but I can read it. I yeah. Don't know about you. <laughs> no, 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 not for me. Uh, Alnifer, Caffeman, 2D, Charles and Chuck, Dianoid, Dan, AVC, Great Defender, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Jan, Zill, NL, John, N Nitro, Johnny, WC, 23, Jupiter, Storm, Carl, G, Croco, 2600, Cuba, 6969, Mark Space, Inc., MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Money Funster, Nathan, Storm, Packrat, VG, RC, 70, Repentless, VG, Ricardo, Pim, Six, Sweet, Socrates, 0603, Spartan, 581, Spiceware, Esther, Mirrors, 2008, The D Train, 37, Welshman, 89, Dunkist, and Tiki, Dan, K., I say the many faster. That's a long a, list. You did a very good job. <laughs> yeah. No mistakes, I no think, mistakes this time. This that was time. good. Yeah. Um, so you can support the show and get your name on the list um, for free. Um, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe and make sure you follow and like and subscribe mm -hmm. to all the things so you're kept informed of what games we're going to be playing and little things that are going on. Um, Hey to everyone that's in the chat watching us live on Twitch, because if you're watching on YouTube, we broadcast this live, and that's where all the people are typing below. Mm -hmm. uh, Trey Guy, S. Ramirez 2008, Deanoid, yes. Jazzy <laughs> Two Fives, who is Eshu. Eshu. So those are the two things. So he is here to uh, talk about his game in the chat. Um, Paranoid, which is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, because it is a um, port of, oh my god, the paddle game. Terrible. Just terrible. At the bottom. Um, somebody's going to type it well before I even say it. Uh, oh my god. Arkanoid. Arkanoid. Lots of fun. There you go, Carl G. Yeah. I just beat <laughs> just, you. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you, Captain Classic, for re-upping your subscription. See, yeah. you remind them, and they they remember. Yeah. And, well, uh, they see their name disappear from the Twitch, and they go. Oh, that's true. I'm not Is getting credit. The... <laughs> oh, he's not on there. Oh no. <laughs> just in time. Arkanoid. 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 Yes. <laughs> um, Thunkist. Oh, his zero page homebrew shirt has finally arrived. I think everybody's gonna get. <laughs> Except us. We still have I bet gone none yours. of none of you are in Canada. We're in Canada. I don't know if if we, you're in Canada and you've gotten yours, we're gonna be pretty pissed because <laughs> Yeah. We ordered ours before I even announced it on We the ordered show. it when you created it. Yeah. Like, before like it got it's unbelievable. The first time. We still don't have our t shirts. Yeah. Yeah. So DJ Mips replied, Oh great, I will uh, go to that when it's time. Yeah. Thank you very much for letting us know. Uh, DJ Mips is also a developer. Of uh, the second game we're going to be playing, Mega Man. So we've got two of the developers in here. Really? Yes. Cool. Um, so I'm going to do the welcome. Welcome, Captain Classic. Welcome, DJ Mips. Spiceware, thank you for resubscribing. 12 months, a whole year. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for 
subscribing for 12 months. Uh, Thunkist, Desimir's 2008, Carl G, Dianoid, Trey Guy, Jazzy 25s, The D Train 37, Janzel NL, Splendid Nut, Dan ABC, Alnifer, Ice Bosta, Caffeman 2D, uh, and everybody else. Did I miss anybody? Maybe? Nobody? Oh, lots of people chatting. Yeah, lots probably people. people from before because it's it's only just restarted since you're restarted. Oh, yes, so. that's right. Yeah, I've lost it out. More. There might Can be I more. Scroll in here? Yeah, with yeah, you might want to drag that up. Let me drag it to the top. Thirty-two people in chat. Dinoid says uh, lots of people Jupiter today. Jupiter Storm Seventeen, Janzel. Uh, Jupiter Storm Seventeen. Thrust Twenty Six. Thrust Twenty Six. I don't know. You have to speak Spend up. You're nowhere near the mic. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Uh, so uh, that's fine. Yeah, we're good. Um, so some updates. Big. Big updates. All the emulators seem to have updated at once. <laughs> um, but somehow I missed it last episode. Um, Stella 6.2 was released. Mm -hmm. uh, the emulator for Atari 2600. Uh, it was posted on Sunday at... Oh, last Sunday mm -hmm. at 2.13 p.m. So I missed it on Wednesday, too. Um, uh, Stephen A. says, So it's time for a new release of Stella. We've been playing on the beta version of this for a while, so... Um, this time we're trying to do smaller releases a little more often rather than having a six month to a year gap, which is good. So the change log will be shorter. There are changes across the board, some new bank switching schemes, some debugger developer improvements, UI improvements, rearrangements, and now implemented is the ability to change the phase shifts for generating the TIA palettes and the ability for PAL games to use the 50 hertz full screen mode when supported to reduce judder. Um, so they've posted the full change log. Uh, let's see. Interactive palette uh, to video and audio settings. Uh, custom palette. Um, global hotkeys allow selecting and changing numerous audio video settings without having to remember the dedicated hotkeys. Um, the turbo mode is now in there, which was prompted by um, Andrew Davies' chess game. So it can speed up the thinking. Oh, okay. You don't want to sit there for an hour. When you can speed it up if you're on a PC. If you're on a 2600, you're, you're screwed. You're, you're done. You just have to sit there and wait for it. There's yeah. no turbo mode on the... There's no overclocking the 6502. So you just have to sit there. Uh, paddle centering and sensitivity can be adjusted. So for people with um, jittery paddles on the PC. Um, and a bunch of other things. Tons and tons of updates. Uh, so you can check that out and download that and update your... Um, Stella. Um, and Stephen A. also posted the next version of Stella 6.2.1 will be released by the end of next week. So everybody will be able to use the newest binaries going forward. So there's going to be another update very, very, very soon. Um, also, the A7800 emulator, Atari 7800 emulator has been updated as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so what's new in that one? Pokey audio emulation improvements, the uh, CPU and graphics chip performance adjustments, frame, frame rate updated to an even 50 hertz and 60 hertz, additional display options, enhancements, corrected ST and Amiga mouse button behavior, um, and most importantly, um, audio indication of no ROMs loaded sil is silenced. <laughs> So I got a beta version of that, so that that screeching noise when you Ooh, don't nice. have a cartridge in, which yes. you don't have a cartridge no. in when you load it, so it's always screeching. Yeah. So people were, that was the most commented thing yeah, after. Yeah, please don't do that. So, so thank you for getting rid of the screeching. Yeah, the screeching was un unnecessary. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, the Cool CV, the ColecoVision emulator, was also updated by NanoChess. Um, it says 0 0.6.7, now support for random number generation of words. Games like Word Feud. Um, paused window doesn't show trash if minimized, maximized, or something passes over. Uh, pause shows a message and added Mecha 9 to game collection included. So three of the emulators have been updated. So um, updated Stella 6.2.1 is for the newest chess binaries for Andrew Davies. Andrew Davy, he corrected me. Oh, don't, Andrew Davy. It's okay. not Davies, no S. <laughs> it's just usually I say Andrew Davies chess 
or Andrew Davies something. Oh, I see. So I got it mixed up in my mind beforehand. Yeah. Andrew Davies. And now it's passing on to other people. <laughs> Sorry. About it's that. Andrew Davy. <laughs> yeah, got mad. Um, uh, Thomas Yench is working on Space Invaders Arcade. Um, he's done a bunch of updates to that. Hmm. So we'll be playing that in the future again. Um, but you can go check it out in the Atari Age forums and download that. Um, I ran by VHZC gets yet another port, and this time for the NES. Um, and it looks like he's conquering all the 8 bit consoles <laughs> with I ran. Mm. And uh, let's just let's take a look at uh, the newest NES. The NES one, yeah. version. That's um, very cool that he's he's. Uh... I think he's doing it possibly to learn all the programming. Yeah, no, platforms. I think that's really cool. I mean, you take something as simple, simple yes. as a endless runner. Yeah, the things are just moving past the screen and do some parallax scrolling, mm. and it it'll teach you a lot of stuff on a bunch of different platforms. And I think that's a great way to learn. Um, so let's take a quick look at that. Um, it's kind of neat to see how it's being uh, developed and how it looks for each of the platforms. So if you bear with me, let's take a look. Is that going to work? Is it going to pick the right screen? Oh, no, it's not. Because... There we go. Because I rebooted and oh, a bunch of no. crap. Oh, no. Anyway. <laughs> so... There we go. Sound, is there sound or is no, there, there's no, no sound? sound. Yet. So very, nice. very colorful. Yeah, look at that scrolling background. Yeah, he's got some parallax of the city. That's very cool. Nice bullets and they yeah. flash red. So he's brought over all the um, same elements and the city scrolls back. Yeah. Three, two, one. Run. Oh, we want to see it too? Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it just restarted it, he just died and it pushed back so you haven't missed anything there you go there's the bullets uh was he running it on fceux mm. famicom oh there's the giraffe and the chain and the chain thin chain yeah Oh, the piggy. Oh, the pig. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he commented on Discord. I put the piggy in. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Looking good. Uh, we don't play NES on here, but I'm sure somebody else will play mm -hmm. it. Still prefer the 2600 version. Yeah, yes. The yeah, piggy is a big fan favorite. I love the pig. <laughs> so cute. It is very cute. Um, I've been... I'm just wondering about the common naming convention for Atari tw Atari computer games on the show because I've been labeling them as eight dash bit, mm. and somebody I think in the here on Discord or somewhere said twenty six hundred games are eight bit. Well, it doesn't make sense labeling them eight bit, but I've always seen people label the Atari twenty six Atari computer system games yeah. as yeah. eight bit. Mm. I mean. It, I mean, it doesn't make sense because they're all eight bit, yeah. Hmm. Um, is is there alternate A eight hundred? Is that the better naming convention? I've seen A eight a mm. lot, so I might change it to A eight mm. because you know, but, you know, it it still says Atari eight bit. Yes, but there, but there has to be some sort of yeah. you know way to indicate it because when I when I type out the games the listing for games that are coming up on the show oh, i see i want to specify like oh this is a 5200 game this is a 7800 game yeah, those are course. obvious yeah yeah but atari computer games um i want to make sure but i've been putting eight dash bit okay but maybe i'll change it to a8 okay. that might be better okay um because i just bought an sd cartridge for the xegs system that i have mm. um um Atari 8-bit computers versus Atari 8-bit consoles. Yeah. Um, and I'm also I, I'm also wondering how what am I missing out other than like text adventures hmm. f if I don't have the keyboard for the Atari XEGS? Because I don't remember when we bought it. That system 
Merritt, do you remember the guy was selling a whole bunch of Atari computers at that booth? At, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. In at, Portland? At, in Portland, yeah. Um, did I say, no, I don't want the keyboard. I don't need the keyboard. Like, was it a package and I separated it out? I can't remember. I don't remember there being a, the keyboard with it, like it being a package. And I was no. like, no, can I get a discount? I don't need the keyboard. I don't think he had the keyboard. No. I think he had games and he had the system. Yeah. But I don't recall a keyboard being there. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, that's my memory. I, I don't know if you would have said no to the keyboard. I probably it was wouldn't there. have. Yeah. So I, I'm because pretty it sure. matches. Like it's, I think you got everything that it came with. Yeah. Because yeah. it aesthetically at, uh, matches. It has a round power button on the yes. keyboard. or it has a, a button at the top yeah all the pastel colors this one's not a pastel it, it matches the keyboard it's just a gray yeah but uh it still has the the circle the version circle. of it yeah so. um i probably do want to get that yeah um because i'm sure some games need to press a key to start mm. rather than just something on the joystick mm. so i might not be able to play some games but so if, if anybody knows out there am i going to miss out on a lot of games or do, mo do most of the homebrews use the buttons on the joystick and mm. the buttons on the XEGS? Mm. Yeah. Um, okay, that's all for the news. So let's get to the first game, which is Jumper by Steve Engelhart, Atari's Maximus. And it is a port of Jumpman, or Jumpman Jr., both very similar. Um, and I played Jumpman a lot on the C64. It was one of my favorite games. And it's uh, it's a platformer. So I'm going to show you a video of it. Okay. So if nobody, if people aren't familiar with it, they can kind of get an idea mm -hmm. of what it looks like. So just um, one second. This is the C64, you said. Yeah. Yes. And uh, I'm going to make sure that I put it on the screen this time so yeah. everybody can see it. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Before I even start it. Um, so it's it's a platformer. It has. Oh, I think it's turned down. There we go. Epics. Uh, it has ladders to climb up. Mm. It has little nice. ropes <laughs> to climb up, and it has ropes to fall down as mm. well. Uh, I think we can skip the intro. Okay, there we go. Um, so you have to collect all the orange circles, things. I'm not sure what they're called. Um, and you can't fall off platforms. Not even like one, like that thing at the bottom where you have to jump on it. You can't fall down that. You will die. Um, and when you collect those things, sometimes the platforms Notice disappear. Notice the ladders disappear. Ladders disappear, some platforms disappear. And you can't fall down at all. Is what uh, you're no, saying. you can't fall so down at all. So you have to only traverse. You can't go down and then yeah, okay. And there's bullets gotcha. on the screen. Yeah. That uh, go vertically and horizontally, mm. but only shoot you ver uh, horizontally. Like he was climbing down the ladder as the bullet was going down, and he was this in the same. He wasn't hit by it. He wasn't hit by it. So the vertical bullets don't hit you. Um, they can't. They don't go after you vertically. They only go after you horizontally. They shoot out as oh. soon as they see you horizontally. Oh, I see. They go down and then shoot horizontally. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and this one... You can jump onto the ladder, it looks like, too. Yeah, you can jump onto the ladder. Each level has its own kind of puzzle. Like this one, robots move every time you get one of those things. Oh. They move to a next spot. Gotcha. Okay. And then that they stop. Sense. That's why they stopped. Yeah. And it's, yeah, the C64 version. Yeah. I'm sure the Atari 8-bit is very similar. It's yeah. just, I played it on the C64. So that's what you remember. That's though. what I remember. Yeah. Um, and we'll just take a look at this next one. So, yeah. And it's always the same. You have to just collect those things. This one, there's bombs falling. Nice. Um, but a lot of the strategy comes from collecting them and then trying to figure out, oh, see if... The order. The order of getting them because things change with Jesus the order. Fast. Yeah, this guy knows, knows how to doing. knows the game. <laughs> I think it's a long play or you know perfect run or something. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Okay. Very very cool. 
So nice. fun game. Um, <laughs> Reminds me of the C sixty four. And I've yeah, and I've always wanted to um, have a version on the twenty six hundred. Yeah, yeah. It, it's very challenging. Ladders are very multiple ladders are very challenging. Mm -hmm. Um, the guy is not challenging. The bombs are not too challenging. Yeah. The layout is a bit because you have to use it's order too. It seems. play field. Yeah. Oh, I see. To, 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 yeah. to map it out. And the yeah. play field is not, is not very detailed on the mm -hmm. 2600, but it's detailed enough to kind of make your Get own thing. Get the feel of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cafe Man 2D says, I seem to remember space bar being used a lot for eight, uh, Atari 8-bit games. Uh, mm. Mm. Yeah. The second to button. See. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the best platforms on the C64. So much fun. Yes. So this is Jumper um, that we're going to play. That is a port of it. And it is just, it kind of just, is just started. I don't know how, how long it goes for. Because I just barely played it because mm -hmm. I didn't want to ruin, ruin too much of it. Oh, I tired. Ready. So let's switch over to 2600. Hopefully it's working. <laughs> or not. <laughs> flashy flashies. Well, it's getting the video. Just How is the new joystick? It's pretty good. Um, it's a little rough around the edges, and that's one of the things we were noticing last time we played, today. was it, it, it kind of cuts into your skin a little bit, so we might have to take a bit of a... Um, some sandpaper Ready. to the edges of it. But other than that, the joystick is pretty good. I find it more comfortable in my lap than the bigger one. The bigger one, it's a oh. little bit harder. Oh. Oh. Ready. That looks more promising. Or not. What, what is, is going today? on? <laughs> it's like... Everything. It rains and oh. pours. Ready. There we uh, go. Yay! Some oh, magnetic field anomaly oh. hitting the earth. I don't know. Yeah, sunspots. Sunspots. Uh, Jumper. So this was put out in 2006. Uh, first posted at April 10th. This build is from July 11th, 2006. Oh, Jumper. Okay, let's see if they can nice see it. Nice opening screen. Yeah, that would be nice. There we go. There we well, go. you didn't see all the garbage that was coming up. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> it's got some... Crazy music. Mm -hmm. um, I think in a post he said he was trying to recreate the music for Jumpman, but it never came out well, so he just made his own music up. See, uh, 16K F6 game. Um, uh, other games made by Atari's Maximus Asteroid Escape, Bombs Away, Cave In, Cave Run, Diamond Drop, Drag Race 2600, Gate Racer, Gate Racer 2, Grand Theft, Atari Demo, Inferno. Oh. Oh, did you start? Ah. And you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can see, he's got the ladders, he's got the platforms, he's got the bullets. Across? Jump. Up? No. Oh. Jump with the button, right? Oh. Um, and his first post was, I put this together today oh, to see if I could make a demo that even remotely looks like Jumpman for the C64, one of my all-time favorite games. This isn't a playable game at all, but it looks pretty cool. I'll continue to work on it, this, and see if I can make an actual game out of it. Um, and this is the post from this version. I've, I'm finally finished with Jumper. The new title song is complete, which is the last thing in my to-do list. I'm releasing this version as .099 RC1. This is the release candidate. I'm doing a final bug checking now. I've played through the entire game and beat it. Everything looks good. Some of the levels are much more difficult and frustrating than others. Uh, but all of them can be cleared. If anybody finds any bugs or has any more suggestions, please let me know. I originally intended to make a song familiar, uh, similar to the original Jumpman, but I couldn't come up with something that sounded anything like it. So I made an original tune. Nothing spectacular, but it's better than complete silence, I suppose. Here's a quick review of the game options. Left difficulty A, double speed missiles. B, normal speed missiles. Right difficulty A, missiles are double speed, but do not shoot at you or change direction. Slower missiles, uh, B, and shoot and change direction. Okay, I think so. I think we're on B, D. Yeah, we're good. Chirpy stereo headphone effect, oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yesterday was the 13th. Oh, well, it was Saturday, though. Um... <laughs> 
Uh, color black and white switch. Color normal player speed. Black and white double player speed. That's good. All the defaults are fine. If you put both difficulty switches in A, the missiles are quad speed and don't change direction. Wow. And he says, Woo, it's our nearly 1 a.m. here in Missouri. Time to go to bed. So how have you been doing? Not well. <laughs> it's uh, here. Have you got one yet? <laughs> no. Oh, my goodness. It's uh, it's fairly oh sensitive. It was... Yeah, it's fairly sensitive. It dumb. takes a bit of getting used to. And the, and the bullets really go after you really quickly. Yeah. Like, so if, to... if they show up on, on the screen, oh. it, it they, they just... You know, that like if they just, me if they just pick it, pick that line that you're on, it, they're quite hard to, do you find it's, look at, it's a little weird. The, there we go. Yeah. What is? Um, like, like him running across, there's something about the, this? Yeah. He's not on top of the platform. <laughs> no, he's kind of in the platform. He's kind of in it. So. That's okay. But that's, uh. You have to get used to that. Yeah, but then he was running sort of half in it too, so it's a little. <laughs> it's it's yeah. They the the the. the oh, just got it. You just got it. Yeah, they come really quickly. It's good they don't. So you have to kind of wait until. Oh, see, no. that's what I mean. <laughs> they go right at you. Yeah, the jumping is a little awkward. It's but, very fast. Uh, and and uh. Yeah, it goes right for you. You kind of have to lure the bullets out and yeah, then, and and then, then deal with but them. But if you're too close, and, and and the thing with the jumping is you don't hang in the air. So oh, it's God. it's very difficult to jump to avoid, exactly. It's very difficult <sighs> to jump to avoid the bullets. So you almost have to completely dodge the bullet. This one, it you can fall. Yes, you can. A little bit, I you think. You can. You can fall a level, it looks like. Actually, maybe you can fall right to the bottom. I don't know. That one's brutal. <laughs> yeah, if it if it shows up on your line, you're you're screwed. Bullets in the original change direct vertically too. Oh my god, that was so stupid. That's what I thought, but in the video we showed, they didn't change. So you can kind of lure them out. Where's that one gonna? Ah. ah, that one's bad. Yeah, the bullets are pretty, pretty relentless. Like that one's gonna come up high, isn't it? Yep. And then it goes. I think there's a pattern to it. Oh my god. Is there a pattern, or is it random? There, now I'm safe. Oh, a little bit of jumping there. Oh, no! <laughs> Can you die from falling too far? Uh, I don't know. Can try. Oh. What? Where did that come from? It was on the ladder. It was kind of hidden. If you walk in the opposite direction that the bullets are going, they won't see you and speed up. In this version, it's only left and right. Yeah, it's only left. Oh, you fell pretty far there. Yeah, I think you can almost I think fall. it's only left and right if in this I can version. Get, if I can get high enough up, I'll see how far I can fall. Ooh. That was a good jump. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can't jump high enough. You have to go up to the next platform. Oh, it's almost better to just hang out on a ladder until you know it's clear. Because you yeah. can go up and down. It's easier to go up and down the ladder than to jump to avoid. The buzz when jumping is a little grating. Yeah, it's a bit eh, eh. Those kind of sounds are usually... Oh my goodness, good jump. Oh, see, you won't jump on ladders. I don't know why that is. Oh. If you're on the ladder, it, or right at the edge... See, I can't jump there. My hands just go up and down. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Look at this. I like it. Hold on. <laughs> it's like the ladder is catching his foot. Well, the, it suddenly becomes an up, right? It's okay. funny. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I know. I'm just playing. I'm just oh, playing. okay. I'm just just checking. Ugh, I, I have a terrible time jumping too. Ugh. It's a very quick jump. It's very fast. Ugh. Like the gravity is so is so high in this uh, world he lives in. <laughs> right into the bullet. That's okay. Have you ever played Hunchy? Yes, we played Hunchy, Hunchy. and two, one and two. Um, my turn. 
Um, I we have not completed Hunchy Two because, um, but I do have it marked down for um, playing again because that is a fun, fun game. Yeah. Oh Oof. my goodness. Okay. You you you, you can, but it's it's challenging. You you're pretty good at it. I'm good at but... jumping over them. I'm not good at jumping across the platforms. No, you can't jump. Oh, yeah, on see. The ladder. You can only go up and down on the ladder. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Get, I don't want you there. Oh. Ah. <laughs> This is so brutal, getting that first one. It's in such a terrible position. Like, uh... The jump seems to just be up and down with one speed. Was jumping like this too? Um, it was. Like, you can't control your jumping in Jumpman, if I remember correctly. Mm. Um, you can't change midair. It's very old school. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> Those bullets are not random. They have a... They, 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 they almost track you or something. I don't know. Oh, maybe they do. I don't know if they track you, because... No. Certain platforms, they don't Like, suddenly. I'm at the bottom now? Yeah, there's... They Look never it, come at the... It's in the same spot every yeah, time. Yeah, it repeats in the same spot a lot. Now it's changed. Now it knows you want to go up. <laughs> I just wanted to try and figure out the bullets. Yeah. They are pretty brutal. I do like the little guy uh, smooshing on the ground, though. It's a good little animation. I like how his hand, his hands go up and down. It's a good uh, good animation. Yes. <laughs> Yay! Pressing up does that. Yeah. The jump and jumpman is more floaty in the original. Yes. I yeah, think that's it's true. much slower. Bullets with a vendetta. Yeah, the bullets are very definitely terrible. Oh no! <laughs> you can't trust where those bullets, and they're very fast too. <sighs> this game is not easy. And I don't even know if it's like just one level. Like, does the level out, does it change? If you get a certain number of them? So far, I've only gotten two. Maybe it's just this <laughs> repeating, I don't know. A new old type of bullet hell, <laughs> yeah. It is, with only two bullets. Come on. Just... Oh, ah! <laughs> are they going after me? It feels like they are, but I don't know if that's true. <sighs> so it's like you want to jump, but you know you can't because because they're right where you need to be. Yeah. And you can't even go... You can't like... dodge them very easily. Like, they have to be pretty far away. Ugh. Uh, no! Ah. And jump you fall into a trap. Jump was higher too. Like you could actually jump over bullets. Like yeah. these are deadly. It's almost impossible to jump yeah, over the, the bullets. Yeah, the jump needs to be a little bit Oof. floatier and higher, I think, to make it a little easier. Like it's not even Oof. the bullets. The bullets make it challenging, but I yeah. think the jump is a little awkward. It is. It's too fast. Yeah. Oh my god. And and the thing with not being able to jump on top of the ladder too is a little um. I don't know if that's because of the up-down motion, but it should, uh, it should you be should be able to jump. Yeah. Oh my god, it's hard. Oh, and, and you also go up way too fast. Up the ladders? Yeah, because I end up running into bullets all the time. Jumpman's movement around the screen is pretty fast. <laughs> Which is good for getting away from things. Oh, you were safe. It, it, it popped up on the side, so I thought it was coming back, but I think it, it wraps around. The animation yeah. seems to wrap, do this thing where it wraps around a bit. Oh. I think getting the, ju getting the jumps right should be the first priority in a game called Jumper. Well, yeah. They need to be slower and bigger. Like, they're so fast. I am guessing everything is fast because he doesn't have sub pixel positioning. Like, like it's you move, it moves one pixel. There is no half pixels. It's just like flat out super fast. Everything's just super fast. 
See, it wraps around. Sometimes it restarts. Mm, it does. Ooh, that was dangerous. No, I wanted to do that purposely. Oh, to get rid of it? Oh, oh. See, I didn't mean to go up, but it just, boom, it's such a fast movement. I really want to, like, get somewhere in this game before changing mm. to the next game. And originally you could jump off ladders, yeah. I think jumping off oh. ladders would, would, would be good, too, but I... I mean... Oh, you can fall off the ladders. You can go to the side. Sort of. No, but you're at oh, the bottom. Oh, you can't. Yeah. I, I, I think... It's probably not absolutely necessary, Sorry. but... But yeah, the jumping so you can dodge the bullets a bit better is would be good. It's just so dangerous <gasps> being anywhere but a ladder unless you know where the bullets are. Yeah. Like, you can jump to avoid, but that's... You have no, to be very well-timed. I can't timed. do it. Yay! Two, two without dying. Okay. I like it. He's, he's going after the Cheerios. The Cheerios. They look like Cheerios. Yeah, you just have to be on a ladder. Like, seriously. Yeah. Unless... And then you have to wait for the bullets to go somewhere where it's not incon inconvenient. Now it's even more inconvenient. Uh, okay, there we go. Now I'm going to wait till he gets to that side. There we go. Three! Yay! Record! Three Cheerios! <laughs> DJ Mips, you're getting better! <laughs> Slightly better! Ooh. I haven't died yet, so that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm Definitely just the figuring ladders. out the strategy, like working with the annoyances in the game Yeah. and understanding how to avoid those annoyances. Yeah. Ugh, I need that lower. I don't want that that high. Because uh, I need to be on a ladder. But there's no ladders up what there. What do you mean ladder? To avoid it. Like, it. There we go. Get it. Yeah. Oh, a new oh, level. Oh, good. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, boy. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, you kind of hang. Oh, my goodness. Interesting. That's yeah, interesting. so they're disappearing. Yeah. Oh, I should have done that. So close. So stupid. Some flickers. Some oh, screen jumps. flashes in and out. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. Oh, it disappeared, like, almost instantly. Like, that's not... Nope, now it's really flashing. Why are they... Why is it so in inconsistent? <laughs> oh, yeah, you can follow about half the screen, and then you die. Oh, I see. So you can't climb up those I bet you things? could. Yeah, I bet you could. But like it's jump dangerous. up it? Try to. Yeah. It yep, is jumping up. This is safer because you have oh, a ladder. Yeah. And you're in the middle so you can see them coming. When you're on the edges, that's by far the most dangerous. The game has been complete since 2006, yes. Yeah. It's done. Done, done. He has declared it done. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's some things that could be improved. But it's, it's working. It's workable. Yeah, and it's working. When you get used to it. A lot of games have... Oh, there we finally. go. Oh, that one's a lot easier. Little Good. idiosyncrasies. Yeah. Two. Yay. So I'm guessing there's four per level? How many was there in the first? Three? Was there three or four? I can't I remember. Four. Four. Ah! Four. Thank you, D train. Oh my god, that was close. Yay! Three. Okay. Very close. Always this at the top. <laughs> Always at the top. Oh no! I died. Dead, dead, dead? Yeah. Oh no! T7. Is that my total? Yeah, yeah seven, seven cheers. On level two, that's the highest uh, score. You you do it again, because... Uh, or, or are you done? <laughs> I can play I think again. I'm done. I think I'm done. Okay. I don't think I'm going to get as it's far as you It's very, very frustrating. I think some tweaks could help. Yeah. It definitely um, takes a little bit of getting used to. <laughs> I don't know how you did that. Just very you be, oh, you're oh, on, I the ladder. on the ladder. I was a little too far over. Yeah, being able to jump while you're at the top of the ladder would help. The s slowing down of the jumping would help. Just like by... <laughs> I don't... I see, I'm not trying to go up, but I, yeah. I, I just... A little bit of... 
push and we'll never know if there's a third i'm yeah, sure exactly. somebody out there can play better i'm sure than I someone can. yeah well i'm sure if you played it for a little longer too you would get used to the movement i i was getting used to it um i think those dots are in the exact same spot each time uh the cheerios oh. it's too dangerous oh they are yeah they do I'm trying to, I'm trying Make to it. was it. boom, 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 boom. Across the top. Nope, didn't jump. You're on the ladder. Yeah, but I was just off the edge. The ladder is actually quite wide compared to what it looks like. Mmm, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't jump. See, Pretty that's much really Pretty much what I did on this level was stayed in the middle ladder. Ugh, middle jump. ladder at the top because the ladder on the right-hand side is too dangerous to stay on. It's too close to the side. Yeah. So I had to stay in the middle ladder until I would, there was a safe bullet. And then boom, boom, boom. And jump across really quick. Ugh. There you go. And then wait till it's safe. That's not safe. Stream went down. Nope, it's all good. Did it? Nope. Still streaming. It's all green. What? Shouldn't that be going for me? No. It's about, whoa, that was dangerous. There, now it's the time to get it. Oh, uh, <laughs> why would I fall? I wasn't even pushing to the side. <laughs> Your foot went through. Uh, okay, I think we're good. Yes. This one's a very tough game. Um, but good, a very good start. Yeah. I mean, he declared it finished, but I think there's some tweaks that could be done to mm. make, it, make it better. Slower jumping, mm. a little bit more floaty. Mm. That'll bring him closer to the original jump man. Uh, maybe slow down the movement a little bit. It's very that fast. That would be good. I think. Yeah. I think he does have like no sub pixel movement. Mm. Um, so we're gonna be playing Mega Man by David Galloway, DJ Mips, who is in the chat with us. Yay. Um, he did the code and art, and Tommy Montgomery did the sound for this. First posted July fifth, two thousand nine um 2000 and it was put out 2007 for an i am 8-bit show this build is from the same date july 5th 2009 it's 32k f4 super chip game um other games he's made arcade pong which we have played um boing boing 2600 a demo and Mega Man. you can download this in the arcade uh atari age forums in the arcade um and DJ Mips messaged me yesterday after I posted about Mega Man being on the show. I see you're going to be playing Mega Man on the stream. <laughs> there, that's cool. I'm honored again. I'm still tickled that you um, decided to honor my arcade Pong game. Mm. Well, no problem. I think we were doing a Pong-themed day, day that day. Yes. And I wanted to include some interesting yeah, yeah. Pong versions. Yeah. Um, and he said, by the way, I have two other things. Blip Football. Mm -hmm. Did you ever try that? It's the 1977, uh, yeah. hi DJ Maps. Yeah. Um, uh, 1977 Mattel football remake on the Atari 2600. Uh -huh. I, uh, we've never played any football games on the show. <laughs> yeah. And I think you would know why we've never played any football games on the show. Because I know nothing about football. <laughs> I would just stare at it and go, I don't even know what that move means. <laughs> I don't know how to move the players. How to... Did you not play football in high school? No. Really? No. Like not not no no but I, <laughs> I mean in gym class like no really, no no not even touch football or anything like that uh no not at all That's this really is Canada interesting. Uh, well there was rugby hey stop it it's funny that you you played rugby and not no football. I did not play rugby <laughs> because this is when I was in grade nine or ten and I was forced to be in grade eleven gym. Oh, yeah. Um, because of my schedule. And the gym, gym teacher said, it's okay. You don't have to do anything that we're doing because these guys are massive. Uh, you can just go do whatever you want. We played tennis all year. <laughs> so, How nice, eh? Yes. Yeah. It was wonderful. Yeah. Wow. Um, so that's why we haven't played football. Gotcha. I know there's blip football and there's another football by made by uh, EA Smith. Yeah. Uh, we haven't played either and I probably won't. I don't think Darcy knows anything about, about football well, or Erlen, so I don't think we'll ever play well, any football games. Well, they might know games. something about football. I'll ask I, them. I, I, know, 
I know the game. I know how it plays. I watched football, and mm. but um, but you know, it's just I find that I find that funny. I pl- I mean, we would play touch football. So you and, know how to play football? Yeah. And yeah. the rules? Yeah. Okay, well, well we might play football on the show. I then. mean, I'm not a football player, but we played touch football in gym okay. class, and and okay. then I years ago had a boyfriend who was really into football, so we'd watch watch football games. We played Madden football on whatever system the things we had. you learn <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have no i have no you know i'm neutral on okay. football like i but I you know, know I could play. things about it yeah yeah okay i know how the game plays. we'll do a football day then yeah. with tanya yeah get ball to end zone avoid a po- yeah exactly no but there's all things that are named things and different <laughs> moves and i'm like i don't know what that means i I, I, no I know the general okay i can i can i can review it it's been a while but yeah uh yeah dj mips first <laughs> posted uh july 5th 2009 let's actually load it up um load it up oh yeah the d train is 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 talking about uh uh the canadian football league like come on like there's (laughs) there's a whole league up just because it has canadian in the title doesn't mean every canadian knows about it (laughs) now hockey on the other hand Mm. (laughs) um hockey's a lot easier you just Say go, and everybody goes. Well, it, <laughs> get that puck in the net. And I, I've always considered There's hockey like, the same principles as as soccer too. Like it's, it's it is it, it's the same. One's a ball, idea. one's a puck. Get it in the goal. Yeah, yeah. There's people who have to stay in a certain spot. Yeah. You, know, you can't go further than this. Yeah. But in general, Off, they just yeah. get in the goal. Yeah. Yeah. Very very simple. Yeah. Um. So he said this. <laughs> here's the binary Mega Man demo from the I Am Eight Bit 2007 show. It was done on a tight deadline and uses modified Batari Basic. There's quite a bit of straight assembly code, and it runs on a super chip, because I needed the extra RAM. It's a 32K bank switch cart because of all the art. Enjoy. It's been a while, but here's the credits. As far as I can remember, John M. Gibson, Inspiration Producer, J- David Galloway, Code and Art. That's him. DJ Mips. Uh, Tommy, Mo- Tommy Montgomery for sound. Fred Quimby for tech assistance and B Basic, of course. Fred, uh, Chris Walton, awesome title screen code you're seeing now it looks mm-hmm. very cool it's got the mega man um and uh bob montgomery for the music player and atari age programmers the art took me longer than the code on this production <laughs> instructions is button to jump pull down on the joystick to shoot you can stun the enemies by shooting them you have to ascend through the four screens to reach the boss which is unfortunately that it's down to shoot mm. because this joystick that we just put together you can assign up to the second button. So if you had up for shooting, we could switch this over and this would be shooting. Mm. But it's down to shoot, so you have to deal with it. Down to shoot. Yeah. Yeah, there is music nice. and you're hearing it now. Mega Man music, and it's really good. Am I just jumping? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, that our joystick me. fell apart. I was looking at it going, something's going wrong there. Okay. There you go. Let's try this again. <laughs> you do have a tendency to uh, spin I... that joystick. Oh. So DJ Mips uh, messaged these? me. It's down to shoot. Yep, jump and shoot. Oh, I see. Okay. Um. <laughs> And he, uh, I asked him about the uh, I am 8-bit um, thing that this referenced oh. at the beginning. Did I kill it? You shot it. You stunned it. Those are the things that crawl along the ground oh. in Mega Man. I'm not going to show I Mega Man. I haven't, I haven't played a lot of All Mega Man. All of you Man. know Mega Man. Oh, jeez. Uh, the I am 8-bit initiative is a retro video game <laughs> art initiative back when that beautiful. was... Beautiful. Sorry. It, it does look beautiful. I'm going to die very quickly. <laughs> yeah, you got two. <laughs> one left beautiful though the animations are really beautiful yeah the movement and animation and even the movement of those enemies is incredible like they speed up and slow down i'm gonna fall probably (laughs) 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 and and when he gets shocked the animation is great oh it's wonderful and somebody in the comments said this was like a huge Mega Man fan and they said the movement is, is really good is perfect yeah. like the translation of the movement for Mega Man is really good his jumps like the animation of the jumps I'm I'm terrible but that's okay <laughs> um you get the gist 
Let's see if I can <gasps> load up the instructions You here. can probably do a better job than I can. You played a lot of Magman, so... I would say a lot, but um, enough, I guess. I don't know how I'm going to get up there. Oh, you just run and jump. Run and jump. <laughs> Am I logged into this? No, I'm going to have to read it off here. The show was an art gallery in Los Angeles and featured classic video game inspired art. This was my art piece rather than a game. The go. only interactive art piece of the show. Catcom was a sponsor. Oh, really? That's cool. Wow. I That's very interesting. So they uh, tolerated this. They tolerated it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try putting it out. Let's see how, that, how far that goes. Um, it was never intended to be a full game. Only an art piece for the gallery show as companion piece to the artwork of the giant joystick. The giant joystick actually worked. You stood on it to operate it. Oh my god, that's awesome. Um, and he's got a picture of it. I'll show you guys later. Uh, Mega Man 2600 used the Atari Sera Super Chip, which added a tiny bit of RAM. Well, anything added to the 2600 is not a tiny bit of RAM. That's not the right spot. No. Damn, <laughs> I didn't realize it was down to that low health. Anything is a massive amount of RAM for the Atari. Um, classic games from uh, back in the early 80s used the Sarah are Dig Dug, Crystal Cla Castles, Junior Pac-Man, Defender 2, Stargate, and Millipede. The programmer who made Princess Rescue and Zippy the Porcupine said he was inspired by me. Ooh, wow. nice. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Because I believe that's the same person who is now making uh, it's a very very Mega Man-esque uh, game that he's making and it's, it's, uh, it looks very similar to this ah. down down oh yeah there's a little animation ah. so uh, ah. try as you might ah. <laughs> you will not defeat this guy no oh no you did hit him oh my goodness um, did I win no you died but uh, I had four things at the bottom. Uh, that's his. Oh. Yours is at the top. Okay. But I was surprised you actually got hit him. Um, in the forums, nobody has defeated that boss. Oh, really? <laughs> so I don't feel so he bad. Is, <laughs> he is deadly. Yeah, nice. That looks so good. Is there a way to, to disable the music? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, I like the music. It's so great. It looks yeah. really good. The music is incredible. Did I win? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I know Mega Man's a hugely popular game, but it's actually Classic. a game series that I haven't played a lot of, so. Oh, it's such a good platformer. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I've seen you play it. Um... So let's see if we can make it all the way with full what, health. What I really remember is the, um, what I've always liked about the animation is the blue dots, how they kind of um, disappear, like they, they expand out of the character mm. when you die, and, and oh, yeah. something about this so um, iconic. Yeah. <laughs> DJ Mips, you make it to the boss and die. <laughs> the boss <laughs> Thanks, is... Cafe Man 2D. <laughs> I didn't do any better. I got him down to four. Yeah. He's he's brutal, brutal. You want to play it? Uh, no, I have to read a bunch of stuff. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is. The... What is the name of that? What is the name of that? I'm gonna find it right now, because he was definitely inspired by uh, your work there. Sprybug. Sprybug is the person who did uh, Zip the Porcupine, uh... and. He... Robot Zed. That's the name of the oh, game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm really looking forward to Robot Zed. He, he um, kind of took this concept and actually gave the character, Robot Zed, he's a robot, and he gave that you can absorb powers from the other enemies um, and switch different shots by pulling down and pressing the button oh okay so he starts at six and oh, we both got him down to four okay down to four I don't know still if he gets gets uh Ugh. oh gotta got shoot him oh come on get him down yeah. to three 
Uh, Can you even get him down below four? I don't know. Chris Bray, yes. Yeah. Tommy made a lot more music for this. Too bad uh, I never got time to put it in. The boss flickering with Mega Man doesn't really come across on the stream capture. It should. Make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second. It should look exactly the same. I mean, it's going to look different if you're on a phosphor CRT, of course. Because then you have phosphor dye on the power. So things kind of mush, mush on the phosphor. Electric man. Oh, come oh, no. on! That's like the second time this is useless. It looks like you get all your life back when you fight the boss, though. Oh, do you? I think so. Oh, that's I, nice. I'm, I'm low. I was definitely lower when I started oh, fighting the boss. Okay. I was wondering, like, how oh, you, you made it all the way to six with six of your no, life? No, I think you get them back. I could be wrong about that. But it looks like you do. Had to switch monitors. My old office LCD is too slow for the flicker. Yeah. <laughs> now he needs to code the cut man stage to get the weapon to defeat Electric Man. There you go. Um. So we'll go back to the write-up. Later, I did want to kind of expand... I did kind of want to expand it to a full version because of all the interest at the time, but since Princess Rescue, Zippy the Porcupine, and more recently Ninja Sky, Low Res World, they kind of did all the stuff I knew was possible. Now the desire is a lot less. Like, those are are really, really good games. VH said C has been... How is he hitting me? He he was hitting me when I was running around, like... <sighs> yeah, he's, he's, he's not defeatable. <laughs> Uh, I I do I'm think sure that I has. say if I did something I'd try to collaborate with Princess Rescue Spry or the mm. Ninjish programmer probably be more popular um, so let's show the picture of the big joystick the big joystick nice that he made for the art display so let's see oh look at that oh my goodness so and it actually worked I can't see it yet Nice. Yeah, so looks wow. like it has kind of a pit down in the middle nice. and a big button. I guess you stepped on the button to Did fire. You? Oh, that would make sense. Because you, you would stand on it and move the joystick yeah, that's like crazy. that. Yeah, crazy. You almost and need you'd two have people. To step. That's yes, awesome. Yes, that's it looks so good. Really good joystick. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. It looks like there's almost another one in the background there. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's really neat. That is really cool joystick. Love it. And of course it's wood, so it's a nice aesthetic. <laughs> okay, so let's... I'm going to try one more time to try and get him below four. Is it even possible? The dude is the guy who crafted the stick. I forget his name. Yeah. Oh, it's not you. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so don't mistake that for DJ Mips. It is not DJ Mips. So I, I don't I need do to... Have it on the screen, yeah. Uh, probably not. No. Yeah. Oh, I do. Okay, okay. Good. Just tap it. Um, so I don't need to get there with full health. It doesn't seem like you do, no. <laughs> when I was practicing, I you could jump over this up without changing the screen. Somehow I did it. Oh, Sometime. really? Jump yeah. over it? There. Oh, really quickly. <laughs> oh, funny. Do a wall, wall hack. A wall hack? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's really great. It is. Like, the, it's so good. The animation, everything. Well, and the feel of it, too. Like. Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. Because I was going to say, like, um, Sprybug is like, oh, my God, it's very close to this this game. Um, and so that's that makes sense that he actually yeah. did get inspiration. Yeah. Oh. DJ Mips says it's meant for someone to play and then the next person to play in an art show. So, uh, yeah. So uh, it doesn't sound like you get you get past this dude. Like, once he four. gets down to four, he, like, there seems to be shooting. Yeah, he doesn't seem to get below four. That's cheating. You go down, but he does not. Cheater. <laughs> cheater, cheater, cheater. I love the death, though. I love the, I love the, the, the blue dots. It's just, it yeah, great. it looks really. No, uh, it doesn't seem like DJ Mips is interested in expanding it because other people have taken his concept here that he did yeah. early on like spry bug yeah uh, and expanded it out quite a bit and and gave credit to dj meps for inspiring mm. them um 
Yeah, there are some really good platformers now yeah. on the 2600. Yeah. I was just thinking the other day I was going to do a show of my favorite homebrew of different genres. Mm. Like These are my favorite platformers for the 2600. Mm. These are my favorite shooters for the 2600 and do a, a show on each of those. So if people are looking for a certain genre, like, oh, these are great ones. That would be a fun thing. Okay, so next. Oh, I think I read everything. Let me just make sure. Um, oh, Blip Football uh, was the other 2600 production. Oh, no, I'm on the right thing. Um, Blip, Blip Football is easy, easy to play. It's not really football. It's just sort of football inspired. You have to use your imagination quite a bit. The LED handheld games from 1977 were very primitive. I actually played that football. I think my friend had it. Oh, yeah. Like It's literally just dots. Oh, just yeah, Just a yeah, bunch yeah. of dots that move around and flash. And yeah. the one that's flashing is you with the football. Oh, uh, okay. Um, based on calculator tech. Yeah, it looks like a calculator, except it's just not numbers. And it's not mm -hmm. arranged in numbers. That's why the screen is nine digits wide. I have made many games for many systems. I've worked on teams who made games professionally. Back in the day, I did all the graphics programming on TMNT for C64. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. I also did uh, YS. Is that Ease? Is that like the thing that was put out on Turbo Graphics? Mm. On the Apple II GS. Mm. Is that Eyes? Ease? Somebody was talking about that game the other day. Um, for the TurboGrafx Mini, and they didn't know how to pronounce it either. It's the YS. Okay. Usually the S is smaller, but um, uh, Jason Torshkinski, that's the guy. Oh, mm. okay. Somebody figured out the guy's name? Yeah. Oh, here's the full list of uh, everything he's made. Uh, tons of stuff. Let me post it for everyone here so you can see what other games he has made. Oh, come on. Giant joystick lands in Echo Park. Is that yeah. the same joystick? Oh, the images are gone. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's a big joystick. But is it a giant joystick? It's so, okay. Let's see if... Because it has a video uh, with the article. But yeah, it's the video's just, showing, just gameplay. It's just showing Donkey Kong. <laughs> it's not showing any joysticks. Oh, that's okay. Uh, that's okay. It's then it says missile command play with a giant joystick. Again, it's the game. Again, it's not the joystick. <laughs> Isn't the joystick the thing that you want oh, to focus TJ on? Oh, TJ Mips says there's a better video on YouTube. Okay. And below it, a criminal. <laughs> uh, oh, let's see this one. Oh, oh, it's colored. Oh, so that was in progress, that nice. one. Uh, let's take a look at this. No! Nice. <laughs> Very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, let's see. People playing it. So one person's firing, one person is... So I don't know if they were allowed to climb on it and, and use their foot because that would get it very dirty. Yeah, probably. So that makes sense. That that's uh, very cool though. It's an old video. <laughs> old video, <laughs> low two forty uh, p resolution. I'm sure. Let's see. Yeah, two forty. Yeah. Very very cool. Um, watching in the mirror. Did I not put it on? Yeah, I did. I just switched back. Um, okay, so let's go on to our third game today. Thank you very much, DJ Mips, for making that game and uh, giving us uh, some more information about the background. It's always great to hear more information. Mm -hmm. um, so the next game is Paranoid. Um, and this is actually an exclusive work-in-progress update that we got 
20 minutes before the show so i couldn't advertise it as an exclusive but this one is yeah oh, we they did, did not... not see the video oh <laughs> james do you want me to play it again i don't yeah. know i'll play it again yeah um <laughs> It wasn't, it was, on, yeah, it was on the left screen, not the right. Oh, okay. You weren't showing it. Yeah. That's a mistake. Okay, so let's skip to there. So there's the giant joystick. And it, and this one, it's, it's actually painted properly with the nice uh, oh, with yellow the outline. Oh, yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. The red button. And there's the yeah. original joystick. Yeah. Very, very, very cool. Self-centering, he says. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. Uh, let's see some kids playing it. Just combat. And they weren't playing it as I thought they were playing it. I thought somebody was going to jump up on it. Oh. And use it with their foot. Well. But, but they're probably like, no, 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 you get, get yeah. down. You're gonna... As long as you can, as long as you can move it. There you go. There's the name. It's not a problem. Yep. Yay! Yeah. There! I did it right this time. <laughs> Everyone can see it. <laughs> Where does the name come from? Uh, which name? I don't know which, what he's referred to. Um, so this is Paranoid by Ishu. Uh, this was first posted uh, May 7th, 2014, this game. Mm -hmm. So it's quite a long time in the making. Here you go. Oh, the Paranoid... I don't know. That's a very good question for the person who made it, who should be in the chat still, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Sort of rhymes with Arkanoid. That's true. Mm -hmm. That is true. Um, so this was actually started on a thread, and somebody said, is it just me, or Retro Goober said, is it just me, or is this a no-brainer homebrew for 2,600 paddles? Does it exist? If not, programmers, please consider. Um, so somebody's like, hey, nobody has made Arkanoid. What the hell's going on? Mm. Albert replied, yes, it's a no-brainer. I may have to program it myself if nobody else does, <laughs> as I love Arkanoid, and there aren't good enough enough good paddle games on the 2600. Um, so uh, Ishu uh, came in and said, here's a sneak preview. Uh, here's a sneak peek of something I've been working on. It's just a kernel test at the moment, really. I ran into a couple bugs in Stella, so there's two binaries attached. Um, so you load it up. I'll get the paddle. Mm -hmm. Watch out, kittens. Sorry, disturb your slumber. Actually, don't load it yet. Wait, 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 wait. Because there's a really, really amazing looking title screen for this one. Okay. Uh, really, really nice. There we go. Paddles. Yes. We're getting the paddles out. Let's start it with the joystick, and then we'll switch to paddles. Okay, go for it. Look at that gorgeous title yeah, screen. So lovely. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the star field in the background, beautiful press fire, um, flashing, and the perspective colored um, play field. I don't know if it's play field. Um, and it's used some very clever code to actually make this happen. And we'll, we'll take a look at it in a bit of how he made it work. Um, I'm, let's see, uh, two binaries attached, one for Stella, one for the real machine. I'm due to work on the proper ball movement and bat collisions next. This is just his first post, not for this one. Um, and the one in the version is not how I plan on implementing it. They're a bit buggy, but I need to re rework the code. Uh, I'm not planning on to do an exact clone of Arkanoid as I prefer to do things in a way that suits the 2600. The enemies won't go into the brick area or cross the same few scan lines as I'm flicker adverse. And also multi-ball will only have two balls and a few other changes I'm sure. The bricks are just a random mix of colors at the moment to test the kernel. It supports three different color bricks per line with some limitations. Excuse the programmer graphics. That's a funny thing. Because mm -hmm. there's like, usually it's there's a programmer and then there's a person who does graphics. And sometimes it's the same thing like VHZC. Yeah. <laughs> who's an expert at graphics. He's yeah. so good. Mm -hmm. um, and then six years later. What? No flicker? What am I looking at? This is a cool idea. 
That's not the one I sent you today, I think. Oh. Uh, Were there oh, two did in you, there? Yeah, there was two. Did you? I went with the first one. Okay, well, this is the last one. <laughs> uh, no, okay, so this is the exclusive Ready. update um, that he just gotcha. sent to me 20 minutes before the show. Just snuck it in under the wire. So go back to it. Oh, I already switched it. Well, we can use paddles. Maybe. They're usually very brutal to use for the menu because they're so sensitive. And there's oh, yeah. always a problem. Sorry, I did I did click on the wrong When one. you try and load this. Yes. Eventually it goes. Uh, they, they were discussing it in the forums. Really? Yeah, because they... Um, I think Thomas brought it up. Where it just, just refuses to load. <laughs> Come on. And then you... I think you back out and go back in, and then it's fine. Or oh, now it's not working now. Yeah, it like worked the first time, but not the second time. And it always seems to be on the menu. Yeah. Just when you want to load it, yeah. that's when it stops. Okay. Well, I have to switch back to joystick first. So weird. It's the weirdest bug. Okay. Load it up. Load it up. No. No, it's not because no, it's on paddle mode now. Okay. <laughs> we'll get there. Ready. <laughs> the name is just blah blah noid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just whatever. Whatever works. Okay, there we go. There we go. So, obviously, the title screen has changed. Uh, or not. No, he just saw me, I think, load up the wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Now we'll switch back because paddles and the harmony menu do not like each other. Okay. Um, so he messaged me. Um, okay. Oh, you're going. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so six years passed and he posted uh, Saturday morning. Many years since I last signed in and progress is slow, but might as well post update bin of where I am so far. And he posted an update. And then, uh, 20 minutes before the show, he messaged me in the chat, actually, and said, Check your mail! He said, Hi, Zero Page Homebrew. I'm honored mm. you've decided to show Paranoid on your show. It's really just a tech demo at the moment, but to make it a little bit more playable, I've added three more levels after the first. It was a bit of a rush job, so hopefully it's not buggy. Oops. So, Arkanoid. I love Arkanoid. I love Arkanoid it Arkanoid is too. such a fun game. It is... It, it is Breakout, really. Yeah. But it's like a big updated Breakout Ooh. where there's like options of collecting upgrades for your paddle. Mm -hmm. uh, the one you just got was E, which extends the paddle which is out. Awesome. Yes. Um, there's one that's a sticky paddle. Yes, I got that one. Yeah. Yeah, which you can kind of move and then start again. It's almost like you, when you, that's sticky. But I like elongated. I do too. For, or extended. I'm not sure what it actually stands for. Either. <laughs> Either. They both work. That's probably my favorite. Yeah. Um, other than multi ball. Oh, multi ball is. Get it that way. Ooh. Oh, oh yep, now yep. it's working. They're just hits. doubles. Oh, uh, gotcha. Yeah. I don't know what the P is. That didn't seem to do anything. There is it's one for multi sometimes. ball. Yeah. I can't remember what that is. It's like. And there's S for slow. I don't know how many he's implemented. Mm. So we'll we'll find out. So we know e, e and... Sticky. Is S for sticky? I think so. Yeah. Ah. C for catch. S for slow. Okay. Oh, so, okay. And E for extended. So there's at least three. And he said, did mention multi-ball in his first post. Mm, I haven't seen that yet. He has very clean lines. Like the score at the bottom uh the number of oh, lives so at the bottom very very nice yeah the last one's always terrible <laughs> You're like, come on get the angle yeah Ooh, nice so Round he's two. added this is a brand new level he only had one for the demo so this is newly updated having this level mm -hmm. oh you want that it's all about getting it in the top yeah it is I think I was watching a, uh, oh. so you can catch with, with the extended, so you can multiply Yeah, they, multiply they, they uh, don't seem to necessarily stack. go away, but I think when you die, they 
disappear. Oh, yeah. They disappear when you die. Yeah. You don't deserve them. <laughs> oh. oh! Speaking of. No one's... Catch. Catch. It hasn't really gotten any faster, has it? Did it no, get faster? No, it looks about the same. Yeah. It's just and a The different... original Arkanoid, it does speed up quite Over bit. time. Yeah. What's P? Is P implemented? They stack at the moment, haven't decided to what to, uh, what to do in the end. It would be neat to have two modes, actually. To have one where they stack and one where they, yeah. they replace each other. Yeah. Um, for different for different difficulty levels. Ah! And uh, DJ Map says, great job on the sound. I'm always a stickler for sound. Yeah, really good sound. It's kind of an echoey... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Mm. Oh, good game over, son. Yeah. Be right back hold on okay atari's replacing me for a brief moment <laughs> hey atari what do you think good arkanoid clone or port Let's see if we can get to level two level three well i have to get to level two first oh yes please there we go Um, in the other, in the original Arkanoid as well, there's lasers, L for lasers, and, um, oh yeah, keep going up there, excellent. And so you can shoot out things, that would be an incredible addition if you're able to put lasers, that would, oh, now it is getting fast, no, it is getting fast. So I would like to want to get, get one of those S's if they fall down. Oh, the sticky is serving me well this time. Yes, yeah, slow. There we go. Yeah, the P doesn't seem to do anything yet. Unless it, oh, my God. Oh, I just missed the E. No. Get up there. There we go. P? Is it points? Maybe it's just points. Couldn't tell. To concentrate. Another E? No. <laughs> Running out of lives. Yeah, when I saw the update to this, I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe I haven't seen the original post for this. And I didn't play it on the show yet. And then when I loaded it up, I was like, oh my god, this is an incredible port of Arkanoid. This definitely needs to go on uh, a cartridge for sale once you're done this. And you're very close to being done. Like, really, you could stop right now and just put in a ton of levels and it would be totally fine obviously don't uh keep keep working on it um but the sound is perfect the visuals are already perfect come on come on it's always the last one is the hardest come on <laughs> yes 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 no <laughs> Everyone is screaming. P is for extra player. <laughs> extra. Oh, you get an extra life for P? Maybe. Oh my god. Get all the P's. Yeah, that makes sense. Is there like a happy face in, in the kind of a, Yeah, there's something there. There's something there for sure. I don't know. Maybe it's, oh, maybe it's a multi-ball. Oh, maybe. Mm. See what that. happens there. I need an E very badly. Oh, so close to seeing. Oh, what is that? It's a glitch? It's very weird. Just a little happy face. <laughs> Just a little, little happy face. Oh my god. Jazzy 25's bug in the power ups. Oh, possible to add a little. Oh, I see, yeah. That's the ball it. is fast. I wouldn't have time to read either. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll make it to level three. Yeah, you do get an extra player. Oh, good. You just Always don't notice it when you're, you, you're not looking at the, the, the little dots at the bottom when you're. Uh, you're playing. Yeah, that makes sense. Lots of sense. Yep. Ooh, I always love it when you get two of ones. Oh, yeah. Hit right in the corner. No, come on. No. Break out of that. Yeah, it gets stuck in patterns. Uh, but he's got angles working as well, like, um, depending where you hit it on the paddle, it'll, uh, well, maybe not... Go at a more uh, extreme angle. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, it looks on, good. On, it on, feels on. like it. It feels like Arkanoid. Like, oh, like the 100%. movement of the ball looks. It feels perfect. So, yep. so it's yeah, it looks really good. Come on. 
Oh no, it's getting fast. There. No. No. There. <laughs> it's always the last one. Uh, always trouble. Oh, that's a different angle. Yay! Oh, round three. We got to see all three levels. Please give me an E right away. Is it just three? Just three levels? You uh, yeah. Saying? Oh, are the greens impossible? Oh, no. You have to get the middle ones. Oh, my God. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. <gasps> Don't. Oh, no. Which way is it going to go? That way? Yeah. That pink. There we go. Come on. Break through. Once it's up there, it's going to do some damage, hopefully. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that was. But it wasn't a it was a C. Oh, okay. I don't care too much about catching it. it actually, in this, this one, it would be very helpful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Keep doing that. No! Get back up there. No. <laughs> there. Come on, come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! Yay! Round oh, four! Oh, this is different. This, yeah. This is more than... Oh, we added three levels. Ah, very cool. Yeah. The greens were meant to be gold yellow. They are unbreakable. Mmm. Oh, <laughs> Applause! Yay! This is nice. I like it. It is incredible. Yeah, it's really nice. I love Arkanoid. Yeah. This is such a fun game. It's such a relaxing game to play, too. It is. Yeah. Unless it gets fast. No, but I mean, it's... It's not super high stress. No, it's not high stress. It's a um, great game. Yeah, and a great conversion. Um, I, I can't complain about it at all. <laughs> like, there's absolutely nothing that is wrong with this. I mean, just more. More of the same, please. Yeah. <laughs> more levels. Um, it's great. Put in the lasers if you can. If there's um, the ability to do that. I bet you could repurpose. I think so. the bricks look really good, too. The gradation. They're not just, yep. like, solid. They have... Ugh, lost a life. Got one and lost one. Yay! This is new. He's added a bunch of levels. I don't know what he's talking about. Three. He added three more, maybe. Oh, three more. I don't know how many there that were to begin sense. with. Come on. It's a lot of bricks. That is a lot of bricks. Yeah. The there E is go. definitely my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> I always go for the E in, Gotta the, get the in e. Arkanoid. Makes a big difference. So how many levels are there now in the game? Is he saying? Jazzy two fives. My son doesn't agree. It's relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think this level will complete even if you destroy all the bricks. Okay, well that tells us how many how many levels there are. <laughs> yep. Oh, nice. extra life. <laughs> I think it's so relaxing. I love Arkanoid. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, Captain Classic was, was suggesting um, having the bricks flash when they're hit. The multi-bricks, which is in the, I guess, the original Arkanoid. Oh, yes, yes, um, yes. So you know you've hit it once or changed color, I guess. But uh, yeah. uh, not absolutely necessary, but it is nice because, uh, yeah, I do know a lot of games, they will change color if you hit them once. So you know they've been hit once. But That uh, would might be very difficult. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or flashing, but... Uh, I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but it no. does look, uh, yeah, I love, I love how it looks. It looks really good. Player. What did we identify? E? Oh, E is extension. Extension. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice. And I'm going to show you how we did it because those separating those, like all the top stuff is play field, mm. which of course that makes sense because it's the only thing that you can really fill a screen with like that. Press 7. Arkanoid wasn't relaxing when I played it in a tournament. Well, tournaments <laughs> generally aren't. No. There's a lot of stress when you're trying to get a high score or beat other people. I just find it very zen. There's something about it when you get into it.
This is a hard one to get through. There's so many hits you have to do. Mm -hmm. I I There's still a lot of bricks. There. <laughs> there is. Need an S. It's getting fast now. But I've got a long bat, so that's not too bad. If I can just keep hitting it up in that. <gasps> Don't! No! Can I have an E, please? Just one E. <laughs> I want my E back. Get up there. Ugh. Get up there. Oh. <laughs> it's wanted there. to wanted to like bounce Clear around. Clear it out and uh, yeah. Come on. Easier there. said than done. No. No. <laughs> nice you have to do it one by one. Slow. Yes, please. Oh, good. No E's yet, though. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. It is very generous with the lives. Yes. Which which is good for showing it off. But. Um, Makes it fairly simple. So I would lower the percentage of extra lives, I think. Because I'm not an expert player, so I shouldn't be doing this well. <laughs> <laughs> I've died a lot of times. Almost there. What's that? Extra life. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Three easy ones left. Oh, no, they're not. You have to hit them more than once? The pink ones? Yep. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You've been hitting them multiple times. And Yay! that's done. Woo! Now I'm just playing wall ball. Wall ball. <laughs> like, this was a variation of Pong. Um, yes, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Handball, was it? Or mm. was it? Yeah. But usually it's two players. Yeah. And one person has to hit it, then the other person has to hit it off the mm -hmm. off of one wall. Yeah, you are correct that it just keeps flying. <laughs> <laughs> Arkanoid also has a power-up to skip the level. Yes, it does. Yeah. Mm. All power-ups are equally likely. It's still oh, just okay. more, it's still more just it's a, a test demo. than a game. Yeah, but and it looks... Gorgeous, like it. It really, f it feels like Arkanoid. Like, yeah. like it's. Uh, did Arkanoid, it's really good. Did it come in off the side, like the paddle, like zoot, and it come in when you go to a new oh, I level? Know. I don't know. Yeah. So I know when you skip the level, it kind of went out. Stop making that noise. Sorry, I'm touching. It's, <laughs> it's a very weird noise, and always th makes me think it's something else. Sorry, my like foot. Static or something. I'm, I'm, I'm playing with a coaster with my foot. Stop I'm it! Gonna, I'm moving the coaster out of the way. <laughs> so excellent. Excellent game. Oh, no reset. Implemented yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I guess I could die. Let's go back to the title screen. I just want to see the title screen again. Then we're going to look at it on Stella because it was very a clever implementation to make to get those separations of the bricks. Because so I think most other Arkanoid style games are breakout games. They didn't have the separation. There's mm -hmm. no lines in between. So let's just take a quick look at it on Stella. <laughs> the D train. He's uh, he's like, do it, Tanya. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> no. They're, Annoyances. They're, 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 uh, they like the rage resets. So. Oh well. They're yes. Tro trolling you. Ah. Okay. So. Ooh, full screen enabled. It's at 60 hertz. That's cool. Okay. More coffee. Oh my goodness. Mm. Sleepy, sleepy. <laughs> no, I'm just yawning a bit. I think it's the weather today. It's kind of a heavy, rainy feeling kind of a day. So mm. that always makes me feel a little tired. Oh, so that's cutting it off. One second. That's not what we want. Stella.
filters. And of course it won't stay on the screen. No. Come on, Stella Updaters, get on that. So the left, let's take that down to 160. 160. Uh, mm -hmm. Almost there. 150, 150. Hmm. There we go, that's better. Uh, uh, I have I have talked yes, about I'm that. Planning enemies, but they will not be in the brick area. Mm. That makes sense. Yeah, it's just easier not because yeah, you'll see out. in a second. So this is how he implemented. Oh my God. Okay, come on. Oh wow! Oh, it went to the title screen. So you can see it is plate field all the way across. Yeah. Um, but then he has mm. been, he uses, uh, player one and missile mm. to draw the background, mm. draw blue to, uh, make spaces, mm. but it's not actually spaces. It's actually drawn on top. Um, so that's really, really, really clever. And he even put one at the end there just to, just because, and he is, um, uh, yeah, so he's got, and he's pl and he's made the. Oh, I can never remember what colors are which. Debugger window too large for the screen. That's new. It used to uh, go off the screen. Yeah. Oh, that's too big. Come on. Down. Smaller. <laughs> smaller. Why isn't it going smaller? Oh no, is that the smallest it goes? No. Is, it, is that the debugger thing? Oh, the zoom is changed. Oh. How it works. How does it work now? Oh no. How does it work? Up, down? <laughs> As everyone Help. <laughs> stares at a black screen. Because <laughs> usually zoom used to be uh, alt minus, but then now it just, it brings up the zoom bar. How do I make it smaller? Help! Thomas! <laughs> how, does, how do I zoom in and out now on the new Stella? Do you drag it with the... No, it no? disappears really quick. Minus, plus. Do I specify a number? Same as before. Nope. Nope. It's not. It used to be alt, minus, and plus. And now it's just, it brings up the zoom and it says zoom. Um, I can't even put it on the screen because it's, it's too big. I'll have to figure it out. Anyway, um, here we go. There we go. So if I can change it. Let's get into the game. Come on into the game there we go so TIA so your paddle is player one and missile one to make it wide enough the top things are play field and he's using missile one alternating with player one it's like missile one player one player one missile one player one player one missile one and player one and then player one player one missile one um, very very clever so he's actually not using player zero at all in the uh, game area until um, I'm guessing he's saving that. Oh, now it's small enough. Now I can show you. Oh, just went big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it is working. Uh, not anymore. Of. Weird. What is happening? Anyway, I'll have to get used to the new Stella and the way it... Oh, oh, it is kind of working now. Try page up and down. Page up and down. Uh, oh, there we go. That's way easier. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Oh. Oh, it... It goes... It loops around. That's funny. It doesn't stop at the two minus at two hundred percent. You do one more, it goes boom, huge again. Mm. Okay. Anyway, 
So very, very clever use to um, way of making the play field. Mm. And he's also got them very nicely shaded. Yes, they're beautiful. Yeah, which, yeah. Would gives, which gives them kind of a 3D effect to it mm. as well. Yes. Very, very nice. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think the only other clone in the 2600 with gaps in the bricks, which flickers. Yeah, there is one that does flickering. And it's, it's very, very, very flickery. Mm. And it was in the same thread as this. Mm. So you can go check that out. Uh, the other one. Um, so, uh, very, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Very awesome. fun to play. I'm, I'd be, I'll be keeping close tabs on that game. Yeah. I'm playing it again, I hope. On this game. <laughs> oh yeah, we will. Yeah. Um, cause he didn't put any, uh, enemies, but I have seen a screenshot with enemies in it. Um, so I'm looking forward to the enemies cause they just kind of block you and mm -hmm. bounce it back again. And lasers. Try and put lasers in, please. <laughs> that would be so awesome. Because I think he still hasn't used uh, one of the missiles. So you could use missiles, the extra lasers. Mm. Okay, so we're going to move on to our fourth game, which does not use paddles. So let's switch back to the joystick. Pick up the joystick, please. <laughs> which is Ready. cows. Midline player positioning reset to get more copies. That's what I thought he was using, but I did not want to try and explain that. Me not knowing exactly how that works. Uh, okay, so this is Cows by Ed Riley, uh, Wink Dot. And uh, this first posted January 4th, 2015. Uh, this builds from March 6th, 2015. Uh, it's a 4K game. Other games, Alien Pinball, Cows, The Deep. Doom Patrol, Orb, Shark, Jaws, Plus. Mm. Um, and uh, it, if you remember the last episode or the episode before, I uh, let everyone know that uh, Ed Riley passed away mm. recently. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where we're playing this game mm. uh, as a tribute to him. Uh, Michael Thomason uh, posted on Friday on uh, a Facebook group. A while back, we lost one of our own within the Atari community homebrew community ed riley known as wink dot in the forums passed away he programmed seven atari vcs homebrew games cows alien pinball the ones i read out and uh none of these games were ever available on cartridge i've been talking with his daughter Lindsay, and good deal games has some cartridges made up for her and her family i sent to uh, them to her free of charge in return she gave me permission to make a few extra copies of cows which we're selling for 19 dollars each slightly above our uh, build cost mm. with the little surplus will cover the copies we sent to Ed's daughter. Mm. You can play cows for free by downloading the ROM here. Um, anyway, we have eight cartridges available. Let me know if you want a copy. It was her, his first game mm. and rather simplistic, um, but I can't keep my 11 year old off of it. <laughs> In the game, you're a cow trying to be trying to be abducted by aliens. <laughs> I don't think he's trying to be abducted by aliens. Um, and you're not a cow. I don't know. This is wrong. You're the alien. <laughs> oh, you're trying to abduct cows. Yeah, and the cows are fighting back. Interesting. And you must shoot cow pies at the invader to survive. I don't think that's correct. Unless you can switch players. Now. Yeah. Uh, Ed's daughter, Lindsay, did the artwork. You can learn more about uh, Ed's other games in Brian Mathern's Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion book series or in certain episodes of the Zero Page Homebrew show. Links below. Because nice. we have played every single game of his. Except for this except one. Except for this one. Oh, well, his first one. one. And yeah. so this is the one that was put out by cart on cartridge recently in very limited quantities. Eight only. Mm. So I don't know if any are left. I doubt it. Um, so uh, he originally post said, Thought I would post my very first Atari 2600 game. This is in 2015. Made with Batari. Doing this taught me a little taught me a little bit and made me appreciate more the ever than ever the great coders from the past and on this website the game is 4k i didn't use it all i did this in about one week of part-time work so there could be all sorts of errors if you try it out let me know i uh, use the standard kernel but i think i'll try my hand at dpc kernel next on the uh the setup on the planet Uttertopia. Not utter, but utter Topia. Mm. <laughs> uh destructive mutant cows began appearing and eating all the trees Alarmed, the inhabitants of the planet mounted the attack to it, wiped them out before all was lost. Your briefing. You will have three ships to complete the task. If you fight well, we will have enough time to provide a reinforcement. 
The mutant cows have developed an outer shell on their bodies that are impervious to our firepower. Mm. It has been discovered the only way to destroy one is to hit at a soft spot in their head. <laughs> because of methane gas buildup, our ship engines will not be able to enter the lower atmosphere as the time progresses. The cow will run by the tree and eat some of it. If the cow eats the entire tree, then methane gas will build even more. If the cow eats four <laughs> trees, too much methane will be generated and your ship will crash. Nice. The status bar on the bottom right will indicate how many trees have been destroyed. If your ship is shot down, there's still a chance to take out one more cow by crashing it on the deadly mutant cows. A la uh, Laser Blast. Laser Blast is an Activision game mm. where if you get shot, your ship goes, ah, mm. and you can actually land it on the enemy and oh, get, a, get, and get that, a little bit more A little sport. bit more points. That's very funny. There are rumors that mutant cows have developed an SOB weapon in addition to their deadly... Oh, I didn't switch that. Um, in addition to the deadly cow pies, proceed with caution. So it, you are playing the UFO. You're not playing the cows. I don't think Michael actually played the game <laughs> before he wrote that up. Um, thanks for the comments. I, uh, I've suggested improvements to the cow pie movement. Also added methane buildup effect on the ship play, player ship. You can play. You can start. So shoot the cows. Ah, he shoots me. Yep, that's one death very tiny bullets very very tiny bullets yeah they're, and they're, they're red and dark. very hard to see how 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 many hits <laughs> there oh, you go there we go no you have to hit him in the head oh Remember? in the head there's a soft spot in his oh head. okay sorry yeah you did say that but yeah. i thought that was just joke <laughs> well not a joke but uh just story yeah backstory backstory no, you gotta hit him in the head there you go Um, st stampede. Yep. Oh, cows. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there are cows in stampede. Oh, he's eating the tree. He's oh. a lot faster now. He's eating it. And his bullets are really fast. Is the re is the blue methane build up? Is that why you can't? Can you go no lower than that? Oh. 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 He's moving fast. Oh. Oh. Cow pied. Press fire. <laughs> Oh. oh! Progress to the next level is a thousand points. Crash on a cow is now worth five hundred points. You make a lot of points by crashing. I I, cow. I couldn't control the ship very easily, to be oh. honest. So well, it is destroyed. So. That makes sense. Oof! They're so fast. The little legs go. Yeah, it is cute. Mutant cows, eh? Looks like they catch on fire when you shoot them. Um. Cowbide. Cowbide. Progress. Uh, let me know if there are issues. Uh, version 4 adds a tree. Well, actually, uh, adds trees. Actually, a tree. The cow will run by the tree and eat some of it. If the cow eats the entire tree, then the methane gas will build up even more. Uh, if the cow eats ah. four trees, the methane will be generated and your ship will crash. Actually, so you can die from the cow nice. eating too much of the tree as well. Oh, now you're on the next level. Uh, uh, yeah. Ah. Ah. Crash into them. Um, they are faster. The status bar on the bottom right will indicate how many trees have been destroyed. Ah! Uh -huh. I haven't made it past level two. <laughs> no, he's very fast. Oh, it's very cute. You have to be very precise to get him in the head. And you can't stay in the spot well, because he shoots you. You can for a little bit. Ooh, I find him. there are periods of time where he doesn't shoot very much. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's better to be a little bit... Oh, he ate the whole, all the green parts of the tree. <laughs> really um, quick. It, it respawns when a new cow comes up. Now you're in level two. Now he's very fast at shooting. I don't want to be too low now. Yeah. Oh, he ate the whole tree. <laughs> okay. Oh, just... Oh, get him. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's eating it. He's very fast. Now you can completely guide it. Twenty-two hundred. Mm. Beat that. Didn't what? didn't get to level four though. How do you get to level three? Is it? Another? Uh, it doesn't say. It only says a thousand points to go to the next level. Is I'm there guess only two levels. Because I didn't go to the next level at twenty-two thousand. So. 
I like the score font. Yeah, very... Uh, yeah, I like the score font, too. Very 70s. Very bottom-heavy mm -hmm. uh, 60s. 60s, 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 yeah. Not, well, 60s. Yeah. Oh, that just touched his nose. <laughs> nice. Oh, Pixel... Oh. Well, I got him. Uh, Pixel decided to stay. Oh, he's on the camera. Oh, the camera's way off center. Is it? It's all crazy. Ah, gosh. The cats have been at it. Ah, ah, ah. There we go. Ah, okay. ah. Terrible. Fifteen hundred. That was quick. Yeah. Can you see him? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good. There we go. That's a bit better. There's a good kid. Cows are super cute. We've got little animation while he's standing there. And when he's running, <gasps> it goes brrr, super fast. Trees are great. Oh, he ate all the branches. Oh, he ate it really fast. <laughs> it's very random. I don't think I got Pixel power. cam. It is a pixel cam. Today it is. Font reminds me of Prepiel for 8A800, Captain Classic says. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to think of any other Atari games with cows in them. <laughs> It's not too many. I get maybe one of the uh, enemies in uh, what's the game? Cosmic Arc. I don't think any of the enemies or the the creatures you get in Cosmic Arc are cows. Oh, one of them's terrible. Pac, Pac Man. Terrible. Eleven hundred. That was even worse. Let's <laughs> try and get to level three if there yeah, is one. Yeah, if there is. Well, you got past two thousand, so I, I don't did. know if there was. Whoa! What happened there? Crash, bug. He ate the tree completely. Oh, Too maybe. Much methane. Does he only shoot when you're above him? Yeah, he uh, does. No, because I've been above oh, him no, and he hasn't he shot at me. He he shoots and then he takes breaks. It's very seems. random. Yeah. He has to build up his cow pies. It's a very small area you have to shoot him in the head. It's so... He just filled up his cow pie. <laughs> there we go. It's funny you get so many points for landing on him. There we go. It's not easy because you... Oh, didn't even see him shoot me. Better to approach from the right because you have because his head's in the right and it, oh my god oh my god he's nuts get very angry on level two Oof. oh I can't get over there <laughs> no too dangerous is that the methane uh, no, it's just... Oh. One life left. Doing much worse. Maybe he has mad cow disease. He could be. He could be a oh, diseased cow. true. Not a mutant cow. He is very angry. Yeah, he is an angry cow. One more. One more. Yeah, this would be a very good game for a kid. Yeah. Very simple. <laughs> and it's, it's it's silly. It's silly and it's silly. funny and... It, like Cows throwing cow pies. I think yep. that always... Anything involving poop goes over well with children. <laughs> yep. Ah! <laughs> Not much to learn. No. You just shoot, shoot the cow. And level one's fairly, like, it's not too bad. Yeah. Like, it's not too hard. Level two ramps up. That's the problem if you are too low when you're firing on him and you get hit, it's really hard to aim your ship because you don't have much time. But if you're high enough, you're not going to get hit. So that's a big trade-off there. Because the bullets are... <laughs> See him looking. And he doesn't move as much on level one. It gives, gives you a lot more time to shoot him. Oh my god! One, one, one chomp. Whole tree's gone. They're cute. <laughs> I do like the animation. Very so cute. Oh. Cow pied. Oh 
my god, what hit me? Nothing hit you. It just glitched, right? I think it either yeah. glitched or it was like, oh, methane, boom, or something. Like, you died because of methane. I, Game's I author, know. Edward O'Reilly, was also a pretty good musician. Oh, was he? Oh, neat. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Okay, you want to play one more? I'll play one more. Okay. Yeah, I like it. It's very cute. And it has a button for reset. Yay! So, um, Arena Foot in the Atari Age forums posted a full pack of his games all collected together. So you can download, download them all in one place on any of the threads about his games. So if you search for cows on the Atari Age forums, you'll find this game and a zip file with all the rest of his games as well. And they're all they're all very creative games, and they're all very fun. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you get it's easier to hit them when you're close, but then you you get hit more easily when you're close. Yeah. So there's and a trade off there, which is a good a good way. It's because... always a sign of a good game where they have that balance. Yeah. Where it's like, well, it's easier, but there's more danger. Ah. Or it's harder, but there's less danger. Just oh, uh, DJ Mitz put up his obituary. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. That was close. Oh, another close shot. It's funny how they eat the tree. It's very random <laughs> how much they eat the tree. Sometimes they'll eat it all at once, and sometimes they'll eat it just like that, just one one portion of it. And I love it that it's the cow only eats the tree when it Yeah, there's a couple glitches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh he just ate, ate it three. instantly. Oh my god, he was hungry. He ate some cows. Vicious herbivore. Oh, very vicious. Very defensive. I th there's some glitches. Oh, oh, yeah, he ate the tree and the methane built up and I died instantaneously. <laughs> that seems oh, to be a thing. Oh, maybe that But was... I thought the methane was the blue on the right. I thought that it bar is. would have to go to zero. It doesn't always seem to go to zero. I think there might be glitches. There might be a couple. That's okay. It's still yeah. cute. Yeah. Still fine, still cute. We haven't figured out if there's a level three, have we? <laughs> no, I only made it to 2200. 25, I think. It at one of Did your I? yeah one of one of your rounds you you, you hit twenty five yeah you think it'd be at twenty a uh, two thousand or twenty five hundred but it has it was not maybe three thousand does not list in the instructions ah he, Get got, he went right for me <laughs> he's he fast. like went boom and hit like he he stopped right at he's me he's a mean cow he's a mean cow of course I am shooting him so I I kind of get it true. Trying to shoot him in the head. But, ah! Stop with the methane! The cows are eating all the vegetation ravenously. Oh, you missed him. Could have got 500 points. He's hard to hit. He is. Oh my goodness. Yeah. See, the methane didn't look like he was down, but I died. No. Yeah. Okay. Fun, fun game. Very, very good. All good games. Do we have another one? One more to go. Oh, okay. It is a uh, high score challenge. Oh, okay. It's Galagon. Yay, Galagon. It's part of the 2020 Harmony Games number four. Um, bye, Cafe Man. Thanks for hanging out. Yes. I have a friend who made a game called Offender where you are the aliens from Defender, but oh. it's not in the 2600. That's always funny when they turn it around. Yeah. It's like, no, you're playing the enemy this time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're playing the bad guy. Okay, load it up. Um, so we're playing demo version two of Galaga. It's the only one I have there. Yeah. Um, the rules are. This is this only has ten levels, eight levels, and then it loops back to level one. Okay. And when it loops back to level one, that's your score. So you get ten levels for the high score you can get. Eight. 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 Yeah. You, you get to play eight levels. Oh. This is the demo. It loops back to level one. Okay. And that's that's your score. 
Okay. You play all eight levels if you can survive eight levels. Gotcha. Eight levels That's or a nice level way of nine. Doing it. So it's not yeah. like a go as long as you can. It's just yeah because get the high score when it goes back can. to level one, it might yeah. be too easy for people and they can go forever. So yeah. On the re repeating demos, he's just like he made it with Ardvark. Mm. Um, Best to five kind of thing. Or yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. So uh, difficulty switch A. Interesting. Standard and difficult to switch A. No auto fire. Okay, no auto fire. Um. Is this two player? Nope. Just single. Player one. It does announce. Shouldn't it's be player two player. One. Hmm. So we're gonna have to be strategic. Yeah. With score. I'm uh, not always that good enough to be strategic in this game. But so sure. I would just go for it. Well, I um, yeah. well, I explain yes. why there is strategy. Oh, yeah. Because everything is not equal. If you shoot everything that's on the screen, yes. um, and somebody else shoots everything on the screen, your scores are going to be different. Because things are worth different amounts of points, whether they're sitting and yes. whether they're flying. Yeah. Flying, you get more points. Um, so let me go to the strategy guide. And explain what the points are. And they should be exactly the same, I believe, as the arcade. So a B in formation is 50 points, but a B diving is 100 points. Well, at least you got one back. A butterfly in formation is 80. A butterfly diving is 160. So you want... Uh, I don't know. It's not the final version. But, uh, yeah, because I always thought they only... Maybe they do do it more than once. Oh, bye, D-Train. Yes, this is an amazing yes. port. Ah. So you always want to get things diving. If, oh, good shot. If possible. Uh, boss Galaga in formation, 150. Boss Galaga diving alone is 400. Yes. Boss, di boss Galaga diving with one escort is 800. Boss diving with two escorts is 1600 so the big the yeah. big points are when you get the bosses diving and you shoot the boss mm -hmm. not the escort yes now for that reason you may not want to get anything two, two galagas yeah because it's harder to just to hit the boss on its own um i can i can see the strategy now yeah yeah um, obviously the uh, challenge Makes stages, sense. you just want to get everything, yeah. and that gives you an extra 10,000 points. I can guarantee you, you won't get first place if you don't get every single guy in the challenge. Yeah. That also presents a thing, it's like, well, you do need <gasps> both your ships in the challenge. Yeah, stage. so you kind of want it uh, at the end of level two. Yeah. But not necessarily through level one. Yeah. Uh, any transform <laughs> individual is 160, I don't know what that means. Oh, and there's scorpions. At oh a thousand. yes, 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 yes. I don't think there's any Bosconian or Galaxy uh, Galaxian flagships, so we won't have to worry about that. But there's our points too. Packard says, "Good luck on the high score. See you on Wednesday." <laughs> now I'm gonna have to keep track of score and see. No, I, I mean when they're diving initially. Okay, you want to get all of those. There you go. Extra thousand. Oh! Oh! So far, the top score that's been submitted is 52,860 mm. by Charles of Leland. Mm. And this competition is on for... I'm, for Galagon yeah. until July 11th. You died again? No, I, I was looking at uh, where things end up. Oh. So, kind of not paying attention. <laughs> I'm kind of looking at where they, where they oh, go into formation. Oh, July 13th? Oh, there it is. So extended till July 13th at 2 p.m. Central. So you got 26,410. Yeah, I want to start over. I'm sorry. 
So if somebody could write down T, 26,410. I can do better than that. I'm, I'm just... Yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just... Uh... I want to see if those guys dive in give you more points when they come in on the screen because 100 okay good so yes you can shoot them when they dive in initially and you will get the full points for them so you do want to shoot them diving in but not information no stop it Thank you, Dan, for typing her score out. Oh, get the Galaga. Oh, oh. There you go. It wasn't full points, but... Still good. Actually, it... Oh, no, it was full points. So it doesn't matter which one you do. When, it's, it's when they die. Yeah. So you can shoot both of them and then the Galaga. It seems to and give you still the full fine. points. Yeah. yeah, so that's fine. Yeah. That's good. So getting two ships is, is, good. is a really good strategy. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you got full points for that, Gal. It's a bit more tedious waiting. Yeah. But it doesn't take too long. But literally, it will double your score mm -hmm. by doing that tactic. Get them all when they're jump when they're flying in, or none. <laughs> Actually, you don't want to get any of those. No, you don't want to kill any of the Galagos coming in. So the ones that come in after, you want to get as many of those as possible. Mm. These guys, because right. they don't they don't fall in formation. The bees the bees are separate. Yes. Right? So really, just get all the oh I don't need to kill all those, but that's the okay. butterflies. Leave the butterflies. Oh, oh. that's okay. Kill the bees, leave the butterflies. Yeah, it's hard, but... Do the butterflies come in first and the bees last? Yeah, bees last. Okay, so we'll just leave everybody to the don't bees. Know if, I guess, yeah, I guess you sort of do want all the butterflies. Originally, the round was supposed to end July 11th after VGS ended, but with the pandemic, we cancelled the show and figured out to be extended to July 10th to July 13th. Just let him fly off. We'll come back the next round. And you don't, and you don't lose a life. It's hard doing this one with just one ship. That was pretty good. Much easier. Oh, in the right spot. With two. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody wants to get their uh, scores in, make sure you uh, put some scores in for Galaga and submit them on the Atari Age website under in the clubs. Was it Atari? Was it? Oh, I can't remember the name of the club. I always forget it. You get 1600 for the queens if they're diving with two escorts. Yes, so you definitely want to leave the butterfly escorts. Get all three of those. Good. Oh, that one's diving with two escorts. Nice. That's how you do it. Still your ships there. Nice. Whoa! Oh, that was close. Threading the needle there. Yeah. Whew. Oh, there it is. Thanks, Dan. For posting the link so if you want to get your scores in make sure you uh, take a screenshot of your score on whatever level or level one again it's gonna be uh... bad cat you know you're bad he knows he's he bad. knows he's bad Good job. Ooh, stage five. Stage five. Shoot them all. Shoot them all. Oh, not all of them. No. Just the bees. I 
know if those ones on the ends fall in formation or not. Or just Do the ones they? that come ah! in. Yeah, I don't get trapped in the corner. Guys, no. You're just like, nah. Can't get some of those. Oh, no! Oh, no! I didn't mean to do that! That was at a thousand points down the drain. No. Oh, whoa, whoa, that was close. Some close calls this. Uh, this it's game. Galaga. <laughs> oh, oh, right into me. It's hard to not shoot the top guys. Ugh. You can do it. Still have an extra life. Mm. I say always do it if you have an extra life. Mm. That's that's my that's my go-to. It's not always easy to not kill your own shit though. It, it's very true. Ugh. Great goal. Great goal. I mean, yeah, playing strategically is much harder, right? Oh no! Least, see, that's why I'm not a big fan of doing that because I feel like. Don't do that one. Still shooting. Oh. 36, 270. No, that was not great, better. but it wasn't terrible. It's better. Some of the strategy is working. Oh, 36, 270. Good luck to me. Sixteen hundred for the queens if they are diving with two escorts. They are definitely what you want to go after. The thing is, getting one hit on the queens when they first come down is not terrible because no, it makes good. them way easier to kill later on. But yeah, definitely go for all the bees. Oops. I have to pay attention to when they dive with two if they're pulling oh my from God. the edges. Pointless. Here comes the rage resetting. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of hard. It is hard to kill them without... Yeah. I'm of the mind that getting as many as you can when they dive, except for the first two sets, might be the way right. to do it. I think so. Um, but I'm not sure if... I, yeah, I want to pay attention. Yeah, they, 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 they're they doubles with the ones directly in front of them, it looks like. They don't, they don't double with the, um, the ones on the, the edges. The far side? Mm. I could be wrong, but I want to confirm that. It's easier when you're playing to pay attention to oh, that. Oh, yeah. Way <laughs> easier. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Classic. Is he heading out? Yeah. Oh. Ugh. Terrible. Yeah, that's great. That's what I want. That's what I wanted. Very hard to play strategically in this game. It Other is. than just kill everything. <laughs> Much easier. Much easier to shoot everything. Mm -hmm. I'm doing terribly. I'm doing terribly. It's been a long time since I've played yeah, this. Yeah, sometimes you need a couple of rounds to get your... See, there's only four that come in with the four. So you have to leave some of those, right? Yep. Or did they just pick up whichever two? I bet it's specific too. I don't oh know. God. I don't know. It's the ones directly in front of Do them. not record that. <laughs> okay, so... Psst. Pixel? No, no, no. So leave all those. Leave those. You could have killed the bees if you can be selective. Pixel! And then you get everything else. Just don't pay attention to them! I'll, cap I'll get him if he starts attacking the screen. I think he really wants to attack this, this screen right now. Psst, psst. You can see him on the cat cam. Thrust 26, at least you're always rewarded with a nice explosion. That's true, it is a very nice explosion. Oh, oh, he's trying to, he's trying to rage reset. Kitten. I blame him. <laughs> he was literally hitting the reset button. Really? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. 
Maybe that can be the t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Cat paw hitting reset. Yeah. Oops. That's okay. I do want it, though. I'll take that one. If you train, train the, the cat, cat. Yeah, he could. He <laughs> could, yeah. Yeah, it would have been funny if he did actually manage to hit the, the reset The button. problem is you'd have to train him with treats. And then he would just constantly yeah. hit the re the reset because he'd you want know what? treats. I don't think it's possible because the reset is quite oh it's quite God. hard. Oh, it's very stiff. Yeah. I I don't think that little tiny fluffy paw could actually pull it down. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> you would have to like take the spring out of it or something. Yeah. I don't think that's a possibility. I apologize <laughs> for my <laughs> terrible playing today. It's really bad. because I'm used to just shooting everything on the screen. Yeah. Oh. Very... Nope. Oh. What happened in there? It is, it is challenging to be strategic. Yep. Hmm. That would have been funny if he could take this out. Uh, I think I have to hit those. I don't know. I don't know. very nice with this joystick though playing this yes yes it's really it really is actually good. really good that joystick's working out really well it feels like um arcade playing at the arcade it does yeah especially the fire button yeah yeah pretty happy with the joystick actually yeah. i mean the edges we, we mentioned Still before we were playing it. a game the edges are a little sharp and i yeah. think i wouldn't mind just like getting a really fine sandpaper and just going over the edges a little bit because they feel they feel a touch sharp yeah i think the game we we're playing was quite intense and this one's not it's yeah. as intense and you can only need to go back and forth with this one. Oh, no, Ooh. Yeah. these are the hardest to get with a, with a single yeah. oh no oh you got an extra life Damn it, I almost got it. So challenging one. I missed one. Yeah. One. With one ship. I I don't think I've ever done that well with one ship before. Mm. It's really hard to do with one ship. Leave those guys. Leave those guys. No, you can get those guys. I, I don't. Really? Oh, because yeah. they're... Because they're on the edges. So it's just the first couple of rounds uh, of the... Whatever you call them. The butterflies. butterflies. And, the, and the queens. Queens? Is that right? Uh, Gal Galagas. Galagas? At the oh. top. Nice. nice. Yeah, there's going to be casualties in behind. Yeah, there's not shooting. much you can do. Good job. Nice. Try and do the best you can. There's definitely oh, something yeah, to... The the, yeah, the strategy. You have to kind of plan it, plan it out a little bit. You do. To maximize the score, mm -hmm. but I don't know if it's helping or not. Because we're Rest, not even getting... I, I agree. Um, uh, rage resetting is much better with a dog than a cat. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> oh, oh, no! You can get a bunch of points, but that's still sad. No. Oh, oh no. no, I tried to shoot him. I think you got two, 20 points more than I did. <laughs> 20 points. Yeah. Oh, exactly, Meta Lunar. 36, 290. Yeah, okay. Let's see if I can do better than I did last time. I know I can do better than that. Oh, I feel tense. 
<laughs> mm. What competitiveness makes you tense? <laughs> <laughs> Shoulders. Yep. Oh, it is. Rawr. Yeah, so those guys are fine. Ah! Casualties. Yeah, it's gonna be some casualties. Oh, you, you crazy? Come here. Come on. No, too crazy. Come on. Come on. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh no. this is already going badly. Oh. Come on. Hi, hi, Blankies. Come on. Come on. Show people your fluffiness. How fluffy you are. Come on. He's like, no, I'm just gonna sit here and blink at you. <laughs> oh, captured. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Wrong one. Dangerous game you played. Do not shoot your ship. Oh, oh my god, that was close. Like that went through your ship. Yeah. You were very lucky. Shoot him. He's mean, but don't shoot him. Oh, careful. Oh my god. See that? <laughs> the cat's he crazy. He attacked the Atari. Did he? He went right for it. You're not helping. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, he's crazy right now. Oh my god. I don't know if you could hear that. Where's your ship? Did you shoot your ship? Oh, no. Nice. Comes in at the end. Comes in? Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, you oh, shot no. the Galaga. The Galaga associated oh, with no. your ship. Oh no! Does he come back the next round or he does. am I screwed? He does. You just have to be very careful oh, not no. to accidentally shoot your ship. Just don't be in that area shooting upward. You're getting very close to that area. Can't help it. Okay, now he's going to go away and you'll be. Is fine. he? Okay. Oh no, he comes back. <gasps> oh. No. <laughs> what is this? Oh, you're shooting right where your ship I is. I can't help it. I'm trying to kill things and get score. Ah -ha. <laughs> Like pixels away from killing it. Oof. You, yeah, you, she did hit it, but didn't destroy it twice now. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe that's a bug in this version. Maybe. Or maybe it's a bug in the final game. It is a pretty rare thing to have. Oh my god. No, it's, he's indestructible at the top of the screen. I think he is. Well, that's comforting. Kind of you keep shooting it. And again. Hmm? <laughs> Shot it like five times. I know. It's dangerous because he could come down at any second. Yeah. No, once he comes down, then that's a problem. Now he's gone. Uh, when it's down to the final few. Uh, Which is going to suck. Yep. Oh, oh. You can never get them all. I haven't quite figured out the exact perfect spot to be in when I'm coming up and down for all these challenge modes. I need to practice. There you go. And it's also about button timing, too. Yes, it is. Yeah. DJ Mips did a hundred things a <laughs> hundred jewels thank jewels. you DJ Mips for the hundred jewels <clears throat> I think each of those is a penny something like that I'm pretty sure I don't know what it does oh thank god extra life yeah oh there it is again it's got a Galaga associated with it do not hit that Galaga <laughs> yeah, it was it was pretty good for only having one ship. I think there's another thing you can do where you can highlight um, something you say. I mean, our chat is slow enough hit that. Uh, it's quite yeah. a... Oh, at least I have another got ship. It. Yeah, you can still get double ships. 
It's a donation. Yeah. I think that's... There's another donation where it's something else where you can highlight your, what you say, too. Somebody talked about raids last time. Yeah, we were looking that up. And I... And I <gasps> kind of... We kind of figured out what raids are. <gasps> no! no! Oh, no. Oh, oh I don't no. even care at this point. That annoys me so this, much. Highlighting, highlighting the message. Yeah. You use bubbles. Mm. 100 bubbles Not to highlight the message. Last, Oh. I don't think that beats your score, so. Oh, I did not. Okay, so leave the first. You can shoot those guys. Mm -hmm. and then leave the next wave the next completely. Wave. But you can shoot this wave. Yeah. That's what we figured out. Yes. Uh, shoot any other. Part. Yeah, but you don't want to hit the ones at top. up top. That's the challenge, really. Yeah. Okay, good. Ah, uh, now it's all wasted. Destroyed his buddies. And they can come down individually too, and then yeah. you're wasting those. Well, I don't know. I don't know. You, I think you, you still want to progress through the level. Like, uh, yeah. Like instead of constantly waiting. I mean, it makes for a long game. If you're an expert, you would you would do that. You would yeah. not shoot any butterflies, except the ones on the sides. Until and then you would just yeah. I don't know. See, I just shot the last butterfly. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know. That's yep. a good question. Probably. I mean, probably for going purely on score. Oh, bubbles aren't worth any money. Okay. Mm. So, but you can highlight with bubbles, which yeah. is cool. I don't get the bubbles and the... I, I have not... I don't know how you earn bubbles. I, I have not played with the Twitch chat and infrastructure all that much, so I don't really know all the ins and outs of that. It's the only Twitch I go on. Well, I do go on a couple of other Twitches. But... Yeah. I don't, I don't all that often. But they're very popular, and I would not even see my comment. No, exactly. It would just scroll like crazy. Yeah. Oh, my God. I've always had trouble with it. There you go. Hooray. With getting back the guy in this version of Galaga yeah. because of the way they shoot and protect themselves. Yes, they are challenging. Good job. Hooray! Stage Kay. two. So get the bees... Oh, it's opposite. They change sides, bastards. And shoot these guys. Oh! Ah! It's okay, you'll get it back. Yeah, but it's challenge stage. Do I have to get it back before then? Yes. You still have the opportunity, though. That's all I'm saying. Ah, that's true. Still have the opportunity. Just don't shoot any butterflies. Oh! Mmm! Mmm! I could shoot that guy. He's on the side. But none of those people. Hi! I thought you get extra bubbles when you subscribe. D bubbles are earned by watching. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's probably why I have very few. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find more Twitch streamers to watch, to be honest. That's right. And I haven't can, gone gone looking. You can watch some... Uh... There's also all kinds of ah! other people who stream. There's people who knit and stream and things like oh, that, too. Oh, yes. But, it's terrible, uh, terrible. Is that it? Terrible. Terrible. Okay, I'll let you go. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> So I'm really, I'm concentrating too much on strategy. Like I well, can do hard. way better it's if hard. I just play a normal game. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe not. It's really hard to say. A normal game. So we're not even getting to stage eight. I know. You that's know, the because problem. we're focusing so much on strategy. So you kind of wonder if maybe just plowing through it is will give you more points if you're not making it all the way. Yeah. 
This has taught me a lot more about um, formations of the Galagas and everything and how they come down and group together and which butterflies go. That guy picked one on the side. It's yeah. not the guy straight down. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So, so some of those, yeah, some of those butterflies. <sighs> That's the absolute wrong ones to shoot. Yay! Oh, all those bullets completely dodged. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, switch sides. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. round I played where I was worrying a little less about yeah. accidentally hitting you things at the top of the screen really well I was doing better so it's like don't worry about the screen just hit what's coming down yeah. and, and make sure you're hitting them because I yep. just get the points you're worrying you too much yeah exactly exactly you have to be opportunistic yeah. okay it's there get the points kind of thing don't Unless worry you're about an the upper. expert at this game don't I bother know. I'm sure there are experts out there oh my god yeah No! no! There goes 10,000 points. Oh. 20,000 exactly. Mm -hmm. Missed one. So you got an extra life? Uh, yeah. <gasps> Thanks. Thanks. Uh, it's always the risk. Diving bees, diving bees. Nice. Yeah. Oh, so tricky. Oh, it's gonna, gonna get me. Yeah. I would like that. Sneaky bastard. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Yay! Fighting chance. Cats are fighting. Mm-hmm. The bees are the only ones that loop back around, I think. Good job. Yay! When they go down to the bottom past you, I don't think the butterflies come back oh, and loop back. Oh, yeah. Some t sometimes the bees go down and come straight back to to their their not not at this stage in the game, but no, 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 no. Oh my god, that was close. There you go. No, no. Don't touch those. Dumb, putting myself in the corner. It's so hard though. Yeah, it's dumb too. <laughs> so hard though. It is. It is. What you should do is prime all those guys at the top, I think. Mm. Right? Well, if you can, I mean. I think you 
just have to be opportunistic more than anything else. <gasps> oh no! You're doing well. You're doing better, better than last time, though. Yeah. Yeah. I am. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's dangerous. <laughs> it is. It is. You got dangerous. sucked up last time. Forty-one eight seventy J. Good job. I am going to play a normal game next time. Like, just not worry about it. Not worry about it. And see what, because we're not even close to level eight yet. So you'd think there could still be like more points available if you play properly. points for that i don't think so i don't know it didn't I flash on the screen no. and usually it does so that's a shame <laughs> see i'm just i'm not this is the problem <laughs> this is the problem <laughs> it's like i'm looking at strategy and i'm oh, not actually no. paying attention to like so i lost two lives right off the bat right. when i know i can avoid them I used to focus on getting twin ships that I'd forget that I didn't have any, any lives. lives left. I know. I've done that. I'm like, oh my yeah. god, my last life went away. Hi, Tari. Hi. Sniffies. You sniff. Yay. It's good you can't shoot your ship after you've rescued your ship because the bullet just went through. Not a great start to a game, so we'll just. I don't Whoa. care at this point. Oh, you're just going for it. Killing everything. Yeah, uh, oh, I'm no. like, I just don't care at this point. It's not oh. going to be a high scoring game, so. Well, if we can get it to 20,000 in an extra life. Oh, you set up score for that. Mm -hmm. shoot in the challenging stage Never. or no? No, no, no? no, That's the whole point. Like even at higher levels. You cannot die in the challenging stage. Okay. Unless it's Zookeeper. <laughs> which is can, not a challenging stage. Which you, it's a bonus stage where you can die. It's not a bonus stage. No. I, I <laughs> disagree Take completely. issue with that. You can have a game over in a bonus stage on, on Zookeeper. Mm -hmm. It is a normal stage. It's not even bonus. It happens all the time. You can't not trigger it. It's a regular stage that happens at regular intervals. Bonus is something that you earn, I would think, right? Mm. You get a bonus life. You don't automatically get a life. Am I shooting? <laughs> Are you shooting? <laughs> shooting a little bit. One more. Yay! Good job. No, oh, I knew it's it. It's okay. That's all right. <laughs> I'm not uh, feeling too stressed about this game. Got extra life. Just in time. Just in time. Just. No, no, no. <laughs> Good job. Nice extra points. Kill them all. Oh my goodness. It does kind of box you in when it's your last life and that guy's doing that. And you yeah. can't cross over. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Not great. 
Not great. It doesn't say bonus stage. It says, it says win a bo bonus keeper. Oh. But still, it doesn't matter. That's deceptive. It is deceptive. Okay. I am just going to go <sighs> for it. I'm going to play normally. Yep. Enjoy your cake. with the auto fire off it's actually easier to kill those things as they come in mm. thank you very much <laughs> Ships for the challenge stage. Possibility of 10,000. And an extra move. Yeah! Woo! That was very good. Perfect! See? 30 already! <laughs> coming down and there it's a split one where they're they don't come in one stream they split halfway they're coming from both angles when they come in mm. so it's like shh, always like that this one this one will come down on one side much easier Just shot a, 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 a big one. Mm. Mm. Yay! Some time for bonus. Bonus stage, round, I, I think. think. Yeah. Yep. Challenge. Challenge. This I always forget the pattern for these oh, yeah. dudes. I'm terrible on the second one. Yeah. Oh, no 10,000 here. Those are easy. Mm. And they come down like that. Mm -hmm. 
because when they come from two sides, that's difficult. Yeah, you're just kicking ass when you're uh, not worrying too much about the strategy. I know, I know. it's, it's just, weird. Just destroy everything on the screen and get further, right? Like, yeah. you're not putting yourself in harm's way trying to do something really specific. That's, that's the key. Like, the longer you play, the higher the risk you are going to get hit. So, if you're, if yep. you're dragging it out... Oh, I know. It's okay, it's very hard to keep those. Thank you. I don't think I can get. There's not two uh, Gallagher stuff. You need two? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you need two. Bees, go away. <gasps> Damn it. Taking my last life. This is the last level, actually. Is it? Yep. All right. At this the, is seven, yep. or is this, this eight? This is eight. So at okay. the end of this is my score. Oh, okay. So it doesn't really matter. You might as well kill yourself. You get a thousand points. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. There it is. Six, All right. seven, six, two, seven, nine, two, nine. Oh. Okay. I want one, one more try because okay. my last round was really awful. Six, so. seven, two, nine, oh. For a J. Don't. Oh, it says you. Sorry. Yes. Six, seven, two, nine, oh. Thank you very much, Dan. Woo. I'm first for at least ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Until somebody goes. That's always no, no, how it no. Works. no, 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 no. There are way better players than me. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to do that. But that's okay. It's still another round. But at least I've got a score on the board. That's what. That's all I care about. So I think maybe playing how I played, but kind of balancing it a bit with it. like, okay, I'll wait till they come down. Like caring a bit about the score. Hi, Tari. Come here. Oh, these cats. When they've got cat business, they're like, no, I got things to do. I can't come up there with, and, and hang out with you. I got things to sniff. I gotta patrol the house. And you just took over first place. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> For a short period of time. second one has come down yet of the queens oh no no not in this stage okay. we're in stage two there we go it just took a while I'm like why is it why isn't the second one coming down we were watching a speedrunner <laughs> mm. yeah, yesterday doing super mario two three three and he was singing along to all the music. Yeah, he must be. He, he It was like his 187th try or something, like you <laughs> yeah. can see on the screen. So I can see why you would just try and do Doodle anything. Because loo, 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 loo. <laughs> I mean, the speedrunners, they just play for hours and hours. No! Oh, oh I could have got that. that. Oh, I'm, I'm just not very good with the challenge. So, you know, how do you talk for hours and hours and hours about the same game? Like yeah. days. They go for weeks. They'll play till they get, you know, keep the personal high score or the world record, and that's always what they're shooting for. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's filling in time Yeah. by just singing along to the music. What type of screen do you play these consoles on? Do you still use a CRT for authenticity, or do you use a modern LCD monitor? I mean, CRT is the best way to play, especially, possibly not modern homebrews so much but definitely the classic games CRTs are the best to play because they actually employed oh, oh a lot okay. of tricks oh. with the CRT and also 
you know, the kind of the blurriness helped. Like they used the blurriness to facilitate some of the tricks. Um, we play on an LCD screen. It's 46 inch. Um, we have currently outputting through S video through an upscaler, a frame meister. Oh no! Oh, you have a thousand see. points. <laughs> Not the thousand points you want. No. Um, and going to uh, an LCD. Um, and it looks really, really crisp and clean, mm. which is which is nice, and it's great for streaming because you can't stream. I guess you we could play on a CRT and just output and split the stream and, and you know play an S video or RGB or um, component and play on a CRT. But uh, I don't have I don't have room for a CRT. Um, I have room for flat screens that just press up against the wall. Um, when we have game tonight, oh oh, oh give no. an extra chance, but no, can get him. When we have games nights, we play on uh, C64 monitors. Yes. <laughs> and a bunch of LCDs and CRTs. But um, definitely the uh, tricks that they use for the Atari are best viewed on a CRT because of the phosphor die-off. Um, it kind of it blends the two frames. Oh. It was taking too long. 32, so. 720. Ugh. <laughs> Not great. One more. Oh, do you still use a console for authenticity? What? Well, I was just blabbering on about other things. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yes, we use. Um, currently, we we have a, a four switch. Um, VCS that we're playing on, and we're using a Harmony Encore cart. I do have the actual Galagon. Uh, box up here. Try not to get in your way. Too late. <laughs> uh. Ow! Sorry. <laughs> Attacked, oh, and then I died. There goes a amoeba jump. Oh no! Um, I need to reorganize that chef. Here's Galagon. Um, so we do have the actual cartridge, but for this contest we have to use um, the demo version so that everybody has access to it. Oh, I was right. My question was your question was about CRTs. So you're doing a much higher quality upscale than the LCD would do itself. Yes. Um, you can get upscalers um, that do a lot better job than this the LCD because you can plug this directly into the LCD and it has its own upscaling. Mm. But it usually results in a lot of lag and not great upscaling. It kind of mushes it and makes it look terrible. Um, so you can get um, upscalers. Like, there's a lot of them out there. Um, and they all do slightly different things. I have a Frame Meister, and that's a Japanese um, upscaler. They do, use, they do give you a North American plug, my goodness. <sighs> Or not a North American plug. Actually, it works everywhere. The Japanese stuff has the same plugs as uh, North America. Now they have the full uh, voltage uh, range, though. So it doesn't matter what input they get, what voltage input. It works. Um, but it has very, very little lag. Like imperceptible lag. It's so minimal. And it has a lot of good upscaling options. Um, you can put in... The CRT uh, mesh lines. Oh, oh God. no! I thought he was off the screen. Um, you can set what type of upscaling, how big it is. Um, I have it upscaling on an even amount. It's three times. Three times the upscaling, I think. Because you can go like 3.5, 4, well, this one wouldn't do 4. 4 is too big. Um, you can go 2.5, 3, 3.5. Um, it's different palette options, temperature options. Um, 
this has all the inputs, the Frame Meister. That's another big bonus of the Frame Meister. It has um, composite inputs, as S video inputs, as component inputs. It has even HDMI inputs. If you want to upscale on old HDMI, I don't know why you'd want to. More of a pass through. It has um, RGB inputs from SCART or JP21. Uh, it's got, it can input everything except for uh, RF, which would have been a cool input to have. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Ooh. 19,460. Yeah. You're going to retire on your old, one of your old scores? Yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm feeling oh, tense, so tense. it's not, <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it's happening. not happening. Okay. Uh, there we go. Both put in some scores. Mm -hmm. um, fun as always, of course. Um, so that is going on till July 13th. So we'll get some other opportunities to yes, do better. <laughs> you are at least, at least one yeah, more least opportunity. One. Okay. Uh, Atari, such a good companion. Oh, thank you, Dan. Yeah. Metal Lunar says, I kept a heavy old 32 CRT, so I'm glad I have that at least. I wish I kept a small, more smaller manageable CRT. That's why I like the Commodore monitors. They're very light. Yes. They're square. Yeah. Which is great for storage. storage. <laughs> um, they don't have a really long depth. Mm. Um, they work with Commodores. Yes. They have a f weird, fakey kind of S video input as well. Mm. I don't know if real S video works. Um, this Atari actually has output for Commodore S video. Oh really? Al made it so it uh, it outputs. Really, that's two, interesting. Two RCA outputs, so it can hook up to the Commodore. Oh, well, that's monitor. interesting. He must Be have Commodore monitors that he tons. uses. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you go to uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo, mm -hmm. and it's a lot of Commodore monitors. Yeah. 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 I'm like, ah, oh, that's so awesome. Uh, Metal Lunar, uh, we said so. I recycled all the monitors and TVs that I could easily carry myself. Uh, yeah. Yeah, people can get rid of them. Yep. Um, and now they're. Well, you had, rare. when I met you, you had like six or eight of them. Eight. You had a ton. I had eight Commodore and monitors. Then we, we, but we didn't have space, so you kept, <laughs> you kept two. <laughs> two or three? Two. Two. But what, but like, you know. <laughs> or maybe I had six. I think you had six. Six, yeah, not eight. And yeah. you got rid of the really heavy ones, or you kept yeah, the heavy ones? 17 yeah, because 1701 1701s have like a brick in them or something. Yeah, they're the super heavy. So, so I kept two okay. 1702s that had nicest outside quality to, yeah. to them yeah the best picture yeah yeah but i, I regret that a little now yeah but it, i mean we didn't have t space at the we time we didn't have you know we live in a city and you you're paying for storage space so it, it, it's challenging yeah yeah so but, it's uh, sad it's sad I, I could always buy them again but there's no reason for me to have six commodore monitors no. and we actually have enough monitors and things like that. i have enough so. upscalers now yeah that i can connect them to lcd LCDs screens and, and really things. The Atari is the only one that really needs upscaling. Yeah. I mean, all the other ones I have modded for proper for, outputs. Okay, that's so, not so bad. Anyway. Um, so thank you for watching the show today. Where's my, where's my list of people? There they are. There's my chat. There we go. Got myself a small Sony a few years ago for a yeah. little money. I mean, uh, the we best would... Up, we picked up a monitor, an LCD that someone your your grandmother or someone was getting rid of and yes. it had tons of inputs in it yeah the picture quality is garbage unfortunately yeah but it but it, it was has, it has everything flexible which was nice it has, com it has rf composite s video component vga yeah all of them that you would find in a north american television yeah it doesn't have um scart but mm. you, you'll never see that yeah, in North yeah, America. Yeah, yeah. It's no such thing. Yeah. Um, I'm really upset that it has a terrible picture, though. It's it's great. It's not for a hooking it was, It's an old LCD, right? Yeah, like it's, it's an, an old, old cheap LCD. Yeah. But it has all the inputs. It was like straddling the line. Like I don't know why it has VGA, but it does. Yeah. Uh, it's probably early, an early LCD. It would be. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, interesting. So mm. we played today, we played uh, Jumper, um, very fun. Yeah. A little bit hard. It a is little, a little couple, hard. A <laughs> couple, couple, couple tweaks would make it yeah. great. Yeah. Because it's got all the n elements that I really like in Jumpman. Mm. It doesn't have the variety of Jumpman, but it's got the basic 
Mm. Screens collect the things. Bullets are coming after you. Mm. Um, and he could make it even better by spacing out all those things you have to collect. Mm. You don't have to put them on the same scan line. So there's still lots of room for improvement for another jump man. I know that Spiceware had worked on one and he is planning to work on it again after he's developed his new uh, programming language, Spice C, mm. for uh, CDFJ um, bank switching. And that is the game he's going to be working on using it, I believe. Okay, interesting. So I'm really looking forward to that. Cool. Yeah, the cell CD upstairs, it sucks. It's terrible. But it's small. It has lots of inputs, and that's why we keep it around. And we keep it around for our game nights. Yeah. Yeah, because you can plug anything into it. So it, it actually, depending on what you're playing, it's not doesn't matter too, too much. But yeah. Yes, he is doing Jumpman. He has already done one, but mm. it was for another company. Um, so it, it's called Timmy, if you want to look it up. So there is downloadable version of it. It's very, mm. very early. Um, so it's got ladders and things like that. And it's it's a lot of fun, but he's planning on completely redoing it. Um, Mega Man, unfortunately. Oh, beautiful. It's beautiful, yeah. and it inspired a lot of people to move forward with other Mega Man-like games. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's not going to continue it because he's like, other people have no, done he much said maybe. better. He said maybe. Oh, did he? Yeah, in the chat? in the chat. He oh, kind okay. of said, oh, who knows? Like, kind of, yeah. you know, it's if there's... It's a possibility. It's a possibility. But yeah. it, it looks really good, and the, the play of it feels really uh -huh. good. Really, really good. So it's very, very cool. Yeah, but yeah. it is just one level and an unbeatable boss. I think. I think, I think it's, it's unbeatable. Yeah. I don't know. He didn't seem to go down below four, so. He also said probably not. He also said probably <laughs> not. Yeah. He, yeah. he, he, he teased ever so slightly yeah. that he, he might, but. Uh, yeah. Paranoid. Oh my God. Amazing. Really Amazing. nice. Really uh, nice. Yeah. 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 Arkanoid, uh, port. Um, really looking forward. To, he's actively developing now because yeah. he put out one yesterday and then he just sent me one today mm. with updated screen. Uh, levels levels yeah so it looks like he's actively working on yes. it which is very exciting yes um played cows a fun little game it's very cute <laughs> destroying very cute. these vicious vicious cows vicious mad cows yeah. yeah uh gets very hard in level two yes <laughs> so this so the ramp up is a little fast yeah yeah uh galagon super fun as always mm -hmm. um Looking forward to playing that some more for for points. I did make it back to level one again, so that's good. Mm. Uh, so upcoming episode. Uh, next episode, we're going to be playing... Well, these could change. I know we will be playing Magical Fairy Force. That's an Atari 5200 game. Mm. Um, probably going to be playing Solar Plexus. Uh, I've got some other games listed here. Pass Through, Long... Long, lots of lettered name. Got Push and Trucker's Revenge also listed on. We're not going to be playing all of those. Timmy in this blog post. Oh, that's Spice for himself. And this from 2013. So wow. there, there's the download. Mm. And then you can see some, some pictures there. Let me just put it up on the screen because some people are asking about it. Mm -hmm. um, so there you can see uh, the ladders and the things you have to collect. Nice. Green. Blue, red, lavender, mm -hmm. <laughs> dice. <laughs> um, it was, and I believe he talks about why he was making this. Um, there we go. Oh, it was Think Geek. Yeah, he was he was making it for Think Geek. And there's the title mm. screen with Think Geek. He's the one he released doesn't have this title screen on it. Oh, interesting. Um, and there's the. Spiceware looking menu that nice. he usually puts in it. Um, red, green, blue are used to reinforce. You've selected the right value. I think he products requiring shipment. Funny. Um, oh, and and also in the game, oh, there's the rope ladders. ropes that you go up and nice. those you go down. So if you play Spiceware's game, I believe you can play these levels where you go down. Um, mm. Jumpman has upward only and downward only ropes with differentiated by color and zigzag pattern. Another of those options are available on the 2600. Um, so, oh, he's got conveyor belts as well, mm. where you move along. And there's the downloads. So there you go. Uh, and he's showing off the NTSC and PAL versions and the different color mm -hmm. variations. 
that's not quite red, kind of pink. And the poor CCAM people who get like eight colors. Very sad. Real CCAM most likely won't look like it does in Stella. Okay, so there you go. Um, so that's a fun game you can download. We have played it on the show before. Um, so we probably won't play it till there's uh, another update um, for that. Um, some other things coming up. Uh, the big thing is our spotlight on Thomas Yanch with a video interview. Mm. So he will be joining us live. You'll be yep. able to see nice. him. Yep. And we'll be going through all of his, his games that he has made nice. and collaborated on. Mm. So that'll be a fun uh, episode. I need to write up some questions for him. Uh, most of the questions will be on the fly because it'll be quite a long, <laughs> <laughs> long interview. Yeah. Uh, mostly probably about the games. And I'll write the ones up that, that are nothing to do with games. Yeah, rip think geek they did have a lot of geeky things they were really good for a while and then expensive they... shipping to canada which yes, prevented us that. buying a lot of stuff we i didn't... bought a few things then the shipping got cheap and yeah. then they disappeared yeah then they turned into a store they they collaborate uh... they turned into a store and then they got rid of their online and they went store only and they had just yeah i don't know i've n we'd never seen the store so. they had products in other people's stores and i don't know where they are now are they're, they're gone now aren't completely, they completely completely gone I, I, I don't i I, I think they filed for bankruptcy or something. I, I can't remember. Yeah, brought to you by GameStop. That's right. Bought by GameStop, so they... That's right. Then turfed. Then turfed. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. GameStop bought them and got rid of them. So. Used to be cool, then they went downhill. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when somebody... Usually when somebody else steps in, and they go, let's monetize this to the extreme. Well, and they take, they take an idea that worked really well because of someone in a position of leadership had more control, and then that yeah. person switches out, and then it changes completely. And that happens with yeah. a lot of businesses, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. So, yeah. uh, thanks for hanging out with us mm -hmm. once again on a Sunday. Uh, Kev73, Carl G, Spiceware, Thrust26. Uh, oh, no, I automatically scrolled. Uh, Metalunar7, Dan AVC, thanks for putting on that contest. I believe this is the last entry in the contest. There might be one more in the high score contest. Uh, DJ Mips, yes, thank thanks you for, for making your game. Yes. Uh, Prow7, Captain Classic, Packrat VG, D Train37, Cafe Man 2D, Alan the Fur. Alan the Fur. How are you supposed to? Jazzy25s, thanks for you for yes. making your game as well. Looking forward to updates. Uh, Prow7. S. Ramirez, I, he must have just jumped in. Uh, Lance Armstrong. Uh, and that's as far as we can scroll. Jupiter Star 17 gets their name in the last yeah. second. <laughs> Metal yep. says, thanks for the stream, James and Tanya. Well, you're very, very welcome. And love from Marina Fudd at Yay. the last second. <laughs> Thank you for jumping in. Yes. Or listening to it on your way home. Yes. Sometimes he listens to it. Yeah. I don't know how he does that. Yeah. I guess... You can just put on the stream video. On the, stream on the phone or something, yeah. I wonder if you... Because YouTube has, like, YouTube audio or something. There's a YouTube audio... YouTube does? Yeah. But not Twitch. Oh, yeah, Twitch. That's right. Mm. We're on Twitch right now. Uh, no, you'd have to uh, just watch the video and just set it aside so you're not watching. You can get in trouble for that in certain places. Mm. Having something playing, like a video playing, even if it's on your phone. Or touching well, it, I yeah. Think, I think you just oh, have to be work. careful. Yeah. Yeah, just nice. missed the stream. Um, so thanks for tuning in. We'll be back on Wednesday evening, Pacific time, 6 p.m. Um, so make sure you watch then. And thanks for watching tonight. Okay, thanks. Yeah. See you next time. Bye-bye.